Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing. If you are new, welcome. Those returning, thank you so much for supporting your girl. Those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang, I appreciate the support, y'all. I appreciate every subscriber. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit the button. We have a good time over here. So today's reading is just going to be, you know, what your person wants to say to you right now. I really don't have a title because the other day, Spirit just had me channel a whole bunch of messages. I had a whole bunch of scrap papers from the decks that I made. So people who know who um, are used to my channel know I have a lot of, you know, homemade decks. So y'all, I made, look this message deck y'all do you see how small these little messages are so we're just gonna see how your person is feeling about you right now we got five piles if you are drawn to more than one pile since there's five piles go ahead and pick as many as you would like i've picked up on a whole lot of energies and i'll explain those like in the reading so this could be who you're with who you're thinking of your ex what have you okay and i also noticed you guys like the channel messages reads well guys a secret I'm a medium. Every reading is a channeled message reading. So if it has a title, that's the specific topic of what we're channeling. But there's always messages from your person. I'm always tapping into somebody, okay? And when I do channeled messages as the title, that just means it's like a free-for-all. You know, we got a big old box. We don't know what we're going to get, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm so happy the universe brought you to me today. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile One, welcome to your reading. My name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I'm so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. If you are new, welcome to the channel. If you are returning, thank you so much for supporting your girl. And those who have joined the Love and All That Good Ish Gang, thank you so much for loving on your girl. I am so appreciative, y'all. I appreciate every like, every comment, and every view. And if you have not joined, come on and join and subscribe. Help grow the channel. We have a great time over here. So if you did not watch the intro, this reading is just channel love messages from your person how they are thinking and currently feeling about you right now and I thought it would be dope to channel a mixtape from your person so each pile has a mixtape of songs from their person and I will leave that in the description box below if also if you did not watch the intro I, I had said that spirit had me channel y'all love messages the other day I did this in one sitting y'all and I wrote all of these love messages okay so I'm gonna just grab a handful for each pile and this is how your person is currently feeling and thinking about you and what they want to say I also noticed that you guys like the channel messages y'all I am a medium okay I channel in every reading I do regardless of the title if it's a title on there and it doesn't say channel messages it's because spirit wanted me to name it that title because that is the overall energy that I'm focusing on in that specific reading but I'm always channeling your person I'm always having love messages. You will always know how your person is feeling in every reading that I do, okay? Whether it's a ooey gooey one or we tackling some hard stuff because I do feel like you should always know how to move um, in your relationship, whether it's positive or negative, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it, the energy, so you can see if this is your pile, okay? Now, your person feels like you are the one pile one so this has got to be a person that you know you could be with this person this could be an ex or someone that you interact with whether casually or like on a day-to-day -day basis but this person feels that you are the one pile one this person's energy right now is the king of swords and that's the energy also towards you so this could be an air sign could be a libra gemini or an aquarius King of Swords represents an Aquarius. So whether feminine or masculine, because everybody em embodies the feminine and masculine energies, this could be an Aquarius or have that somewhere in their chart. This person is a person who really relies on their mind to make decisions and they are really up in their head when it comes to you right now. This is a person who may not always express how they feel about you. Um, this person has a very stoic energy so you may not always know where you stand with this person and this person likes to have control in relationships regardless if it is romantic or not 
So that is the energy of the person of pile one, okay? This person does know how to verbally express themselves. However, they're just not very emotional when they express themselves. This person likes power and I feel like with you, you make them powerless given the courage stone. But you either help this person have courage when they are embarking on things or they feel they need to have a lot of courage with whatever action they want to take next with you, pile one, all right? The overall energy for all five piles is the eight of pentacles with the statement, so thankful for you. So regardless of whatever pile you choose, or if you choose more than one, everybody's person, regardless of whatever is happening, is so thankful for them. And with the eight of pentacles, regardless of what's going on in the situation with you guys, they want to put in the work with you. And things could have been difficult also. This relationship could have been hard work. So you are either with this person, pile one, and this person wants to do everything in their power to keep you, or this person could have lost you and is really thinking about that and wants you back. All right, now, before I get into your mixtape, because Spirit had me channel so many messages in this box, I wanted to just give you a few of the energies that could be in this box. There's a whole bunch of energies, but just so you know, as the messages come out, as every message may not resonate, as I'm tapping into a lot of energy. So some of the energies that could be in this box is I channeled a player, a hustler, an innocent soul, a sincere soul. And this sincere soul is sincere. I'm talking about when, if I say this is the sincere soul, everything that is written on, on the, these little papers is exactly how they feel, okay? Those looking for love. Someone very restricted and buttoned up, just very stuffy, okay? Someone or somebody in a love triangle, a broken hearted soul someone in love, someone new to love, or someone awakening to a spiritual union or connection. So those are some of the energies that are in this box. So let's get into it, pile one. So the mixtape, your songs are pile one, What Am I Gonna Do by Tyrese. And the line that stood out the most is all these years I wanted you in my life and now I finally have you. I'm going to do everything in my strength to keep you. And that coincides right with the statement, I know you are the one. See, this person thinks a lot because they are the king of swords. So they mull over things. They don't make rash decisions or decisions based off of emotions. Song number two, Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone by Bill Withers. And the statement that stood out was, it's not warm when she's away, only darkness every day. So if you are with this person, pile one, they hate it when you guys are apart. I don't care if you just got to go to work or whatever the case, they don't like it when you are not with them. You bring a very positive vibe. I just saw like the light shining in a room that's dark. So maybe they have a lot of hectic stuff going around them. You bring them warmth because I am like burning up at this very moment. So I'm feeling a lot of warm energy. Okay, if you are separated from this person, you have just taken all of that sunshine away and they're really sad that you guys aren't together. When you hear the song, Ain't No Sunshine, this person just seems like he's just, you know, looking out of a window on a gloomy day, could be raining and just, you know, just paying attention to everything. Paper flying off the, you know, down the street, birds, trees, cars. I see a person's eyes just going everywhere, just feeling almost lost without you pile one so if you guys are not together and no contact they are lost without you okay I, I just see that person you know just sitting there just trying to occupy their mind going back to that king of swords off of you uh number three look at that there look how this goes to number three Song number three, Off My Mind by Jeanne. I can't seem to get you off my mind. Memories seem to haunt me every day and every night. Was I not just saying this? Now, y'all, when I be preparing, you know, I do this like days in advance sometimes because, you know, I got other stuff to do. I'm a hustler. Legit. Okay. So, I, you know, I got other stuff to do. But I, did, I didn't look at that before I just said that. Y'all see that? Okay. Number four, 
Don't speak by no doubt. And the line that stood out was you and me. We used to be together every day together. Always. I really feel like I'm losing my best. Friend. And when I get to the channel message that they have me do specifically for you, Pile One, that ties into that. And given the fact that we have so far Tyrese, Bill Withers, Jeanne, and no doubt I'm getting that this person has a very eclectic taste. This person likes music from all eras, all genres, okay? Has a wide spectrum of feelings. Song number five, What Happened to You by Usher. And it says, from the beginning, I knew what I was getting, and but I'm faded because I miss you. So I am getting Kaya One. A lot of you guys may not be with your person or could be like a long distance separation that is preventing you guys from being together. They said, I knew what I was getting at the beginning. So they could have got distracted with something else, but they knew what they were getting with you. Didn't say, I know you are the one. So regardless of what is taking place, and we'll see when we get into this box, they knew what they were getting at the very beginning when they met you, pile one. And if you guys are not together, like I said, they said they faded. They might be trying to get faded because you know they can't keep their mind off you, you know, like Jeanne said, and they miss you. And number six, Get to know you better by Mary J. Blige. And the lines that stood out was, why do we go through things unnecessary? We could solve any problems if we only were me, meaning that you guys might both be in your ego right now. If you guys are fighting or having disagreements, maybe both wanting to stand your ground with this king of uh, swords, wanting to have control. Okay. Maybe both, you know, verbally abrasive to each other at the moment. It says we could solve it like I said we could solve any problem if we only were meek and I want to get to know you better so if this is something that has just taken off they want to get to know you better if you even if you guys have been together for a while they just want you guys to continue to learn each other because they feel you are the one so this is what they have me channel for you guys, specifically for you, Pile One, before we get into the box. And your person is saying, or the person on your mind, you are my best friend. Now how synchronistic is that going back to that, no doubt. And they said, I feel like I'm losing my best friend. Can't stop thinking of you, going back to Jeanne. All right, and I did this again before I did this mixtape. We'll do anything to have you keep you. Now, how synchronistic is that with the Tyrese? Feels like I could be losing you. Going back again to the No Doubt. What other song was that? And Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. Regardless if you are masculine or feminine. Okay. So now, let's go ahead and get into the love box. And how we're going to do this. Pile one is I'm just going to shake it up and I'm just going to grab a handful and then I'm going to put three main energies of how they're feeling. I'm going to pull a tarot card for each, right? And then we're going to bust out a conversation and let's see how it, you know, unfolds, okay? So, oh, I don't know if this is loud with the mic, so y'all just bear with me for a minute. Y'all, I'm so excited. Can y'all feel? Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, spirit. Where's my one? Clear the energy of the second. I have smudged all of this prior to the reading. Spirit, can you tell me what love notes best represent how pile one's person is thinking and feeling about them right now and what they wish to communicate? All right. So I'm going to close my eyes, y'all, and I'm just going to grab some. Okay, I got all of these, and I don't know if anything fell. No. Okay. I was told to grab a few more for you, pile one. Okay, so your person must got some other stuff. Okay. All right, there we go. You know, let me put this here because that might get in the way. Okay. So, I'm going to just like shake them up real quick. And I'm going to pull a three. First one. Okay, these want to come out. So, we have, I'm disappointed we didn't work out. Did I not say? Some of you guys could be in a, in a, a separation. How synchronistic is that? With the ain't no sunshine when she's gone. So it says they're disappointed you guys didn't work out. So this could be an ex pile one or someone you are separated from at this time. Could we be objective about the situation? 
So whatever is going down in this pile one, I'm, he I'm getting like a disagreement. They want you guys to be objective about the situation. Yeah, I think my nail about to break. Ain't that about something special? Let's keep on going. One more. I have so much to do, but I keep getting distracted thinking of you. Now, King of Swords, again, is a person who likes control, okay? So they may just have a lot of things on their plate right now. Didn't that song say, I want to get to know you better? So some of you guys, it could have been at the beginning stages and they're just sad that you guys didn't work out at this time. You can take it that way as well. So let's go ahead and just get three tarot cards on it real quick. And let's see if we can get a tarot card to match the energy of these love notes. All right. And then we'll keep going with the messages. All right. Clear the energy of this deck. Okay. Spirit, can you give me a card that best represents pile one's energy towards the statement? I am disappointed we didn't work out. We have, look at that there, the Ace of Swords and the Princess of Wands, which would be the Page of Wands. So look, bottom of the deck with the King of Pentacles. Okay, so look. So they're disappointed that you guys didn't work out because I'm getting that something may have taken their uh, attention away from you, Pile 1, mainly dealing with probably work because the King of Pentacles is someone who likes to be generous. Somebody who is reliable, who is dependable, who has a lot of responsibility and a lot of people who depend on them. And we have the Princess of Wands. There could have been a child involved that they needed to take care of, pile one. But also with the Princess of Wands, this person is really into you. So don't think if you guys are not together that this person doesn't have strong feelings for you or are not into you because again, it says, I know you are the one. This person also could have just had some immature ways about themselves, not really knowing how to maneuver in love relationships is what I am hearing. May not have always been truthful. You may not have always known where you stood with this person as well. And that could have contributed to you guys not working out, but this person really wants to give to you, really wants to take care of you, really wants to provide you with any clarity that you need, any, I'm hearing any conversation that needs to be had, they are willing to have that with you, pile one. You still excite them is what I heard with the pay, um, the Princess of Wands, pile one, and, and because there's wands as well and the Ace of Swords with the King of Pentacles, this person could be a person who has a very important job or career or just, again, maybe pursuing something or dealing with something in their life that is taking great precedence right now. And so their attention is being pulled away from you. But they said you're their best friend, okay? They said that they can't stop thinking of you. They'll do anything to keep you and it feels like they are losing you. So they are well aware, pile one, that there is, there is some type of disconnect between you two and they don't like that and don't want that. And maybe that's why they're trying to find courage or hoping that you will have courage with them in this. Now, clear the energy of this deck. I like how this is going. For the statement, can we be objective about the situation? What card best represents pile one's person's energy towards that statement? Oh, let me grab it. Okay, we've got, look at that there. The devil, bottom of the deck with strength. Okay, so this person could have been lacking a little personal strength when it comes to you, pile one. They could have had some bad habits, some traits that they let get the best of them. You see how in this card, you have steps that are leading up to someone's mind. And then we've got these swords and wands. So a lot of ideas, a lot of thoughts in regards to you. The devil is all about unchaining yourself from things that weigh you down also is about being a workaholic and I do get that this person may be in the vibe of just really pursuing the things that you know make them happy the things that uh, fulfill their desires okay if this person hurts you in any way it was because they were battling from some traits that were not beneficial to the relationship this person could have had a wandering eye 
This person could have been in a very lustful energy wanting to pursue things outside of the union, okay? Or this person just wasn't very strong and a little weak-willed when it came to their personal power. If none of that resonates then the other thing that i'm getting because it says can we be objective about the situation so i do feel like there was some type of fight or disconnect but the other thing i'm getting is that this person is really obsessed with you with that devil card this person thinks about you constantly this person is really trying to find the strength to not really just pour out all of their emotions is what I'm getting, giving that you are the one and they feel that you are their best friend. This person wants to be a little bit more gentle with you is what I heard. And that goes back to the King of Swords too. Maybe they were a little abrasive. They want to be a little bit more gentle with you. You make them feel strong is what I just heard. Okay, now let's go ahead and get one more with this statement so spirit can you give me a card that best represents the energy of the statement i have so much to do i keep but i keep getting distracted thinking of you and look at that there i forgot that that one was there yes this person has a lot on their plate right now what card best represents the energy of that statement spirit okay we have look the king of wands look at that there oh and look we got the king of swords over there mm, with the seven of cups okay now listen all right i got a couple things with that Pile one, pile one, if you are a person who's single, a person just out there mingling or uh, hey, you know, wherever you're at in the situation, there could be two masculine energies vying for your attention right now. And maybe this is what <laughs> this person wants to say about, can we be more objective about the situation? This could be making this person a little angry if there is another person vying for your attention because they feel you are the one. And this could be causing them to feel a lack of courage right now. I just got that pile one. Also, this person could be battling with the King of Wands and the King of Swords. They could be battling with what they are thinking in their head versus the fire and intense chemistry and emotions they are feeling for you, you know, in their body. This person has a lot of sexual energy towards you, especially with that devil. And the fact that the devil and or the fact that the strength is between the devil and the king of wands, it takes them it takes a lot of strength, a lot of willpower to keep themselves from you. Pile one. This person is a person who is a leader though. This person does have a lot of people looking up to them. So whatever arena that they move in, regardless if it's professional, street, what have you, this person has a lot of people that look up to them. And I and look y'all, I just noticed we got the king of swords, the king of pentacles, and the king of wands. This person could be responsible for a father figure that they have to take care of, but... Uh, you just may have a lot of people vying for your attention right now, pile one, whether you are masculine or feminine. Or again, this person has a lot of responsibility with the king of pentacles. They have to be very strategic of what passions they indulge in right now, and they have to use their mind. Okay, going right into this seven of cups, because it says I have a lot of things. What did it say? I have so many things to do. I have, no, I have so much to do, but I keep getting distracted. And look at this. This is all about distractions with the seven of cups. Do you see how these cards are lining with these statements? Y'all can't make it up. All right. So they have a lot of things that could be trying to vie for their attention right now. If it has to do with romance, this person could have a lot of options and, you know, maybe even though they know that you are the one, maybe trying to wrap up dating a lot of people just so they can make you a priority if that's the case. If you guys are broken up and you are the person with all the options, this makes them feel a little insecure and they don't like that. This person is dreaming of a future with you though because this is a dreaming card and also can be a wish card and this person apologizes if they ever let options or outside distractions cause you guys to not work out because they said they are disappointed that you guys didn't work out so now that we know you know how they're feeling based on those statements and the energy of what's going on they have emotions with the cups all right so they definitely have feelings but it's more them trying to quell and, and push down their passion for you and stay in their head and be logical. So now, 
this one wants to go first and then this one. I'm just going to start pulling and let's see if we can get a conversation. Y'all, my nail. I'm trying to keep it on so it don't look all raggedy in this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. First one out, pile one. Let's not be distant with each other. Okay, was I not talking about like a separation? Look at that there. They said, I am working on my need for constant validation. Goes right over that devil. That could be one of the things that may have caused you guys to separate or be in disharmony right now. Maybe they care about what other people think a lot and that caused some discord in your life. I have. I talk to you in my head because I can't say them aloud. King of swords, what I say. They know how they feel about you. They just may not be able to express it. So if you hear them speaking to you in your head, pile one, that's because they're trying to have telepathic communications with you. We have, I'm, I'm gaining the courage to reach out to you soon. Courage. King of swords, y'all can't make that up. Did y'all see that? What we got here? I am going to love you with great detail. King of Pentacles, absolutely, with great detail, which means this person is going to study you. They're going to listen to the things that you have to say. They're going to be in tune to your emotions. They're probably going to give you gifts without you even asking, meaning you may mention something and then they just go out and buy it because they heard you mention it. This person really wants you to know how they feel about you and how much they love and honor you is what I just heard. Okay, what else we got? You make me so crazy. Absolutely. Devil and that king of wands. Come on through. What else we have? I act like I don't care because I'm too afraid to admit I do. Didn't I say with that king of swords? Maybe you didn't know where you stood with this person. So that could be. And with that ace of swords, where that disappointment comes in because they may not have expressed to you. They may not have opened up and communicated how they feel about you. Pile one. And we have, can you see yourself being mine? So that's what they think about. Can you see yourself being there? So if you've never been together and it's at those beginning stages, we do have an ace out here with those swords. If it's just a thought, a thought in their head that you are the one and they have not said that to you yet, they're wondering if you can be theirs, pile one. You have taught me so much, absolutely with those swords. That's all about information. You have taught them so much. So if you didn't think that they listened to you or paid attention to you, pile one, they do. Look, you are so high value. Did I not say that? Absolutely, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles loves to protect and spoil and love on beautiful things, all right? I am building a wonderful life for us. Now, I did say that that person wanted to take care of you. Look, King of Pentacles again. What else we got? The way you honor me blows my mind. Now, the fact that we got all these kings, this is a very mature energy. Regardless of where you guys are in your relationship, friendship, situation, what have you, this is a very mature energy because we have kings out here, okay? And it says, the way you honor me blows my mind. So they may have done some things, again, going back to the people who may not be together and the fact that even though they may have done some things you are not proud of or weren't pleased with, pile one, the way you honor them and respect them just blows their mind. We have sometimes my thoughts deceive me when it comes to you. Did I not say they battling in their head? King of swords. All right. I have shadow work to do. The devil. Okay. Look at that there. So they're telling you, if you guys are in separation right now, pile one, they are telling you the reason why is because they have some shadow work that they have to do. And part of that is not caring about what other people think. Inconsistency doesn't sit well with me. So if you were inconsistent, pile one with this person in any type of way, that rubbed them the wrong way. They don't like that. And that could have been, again, why they're disappointed if you guys didn't work out or this is what they want you to be objective about in regards to you guys' situation because they don't want to lose you. Remember, they do not want to lose you wherever you are on the timeline of this relationship, pile one. I don't change my mind easily. Again, with the swords, this person is a, a, a great protector of their mind and of their thoughts, very cognizant of the things that they think. Okay, maybe not so much of what they feel, but definitely what they think. 
And with the statement, I don't change my mind easily, it lets me know that this person may be kind of stuck in their ways at times, but when they do set their mind on something, they go for it. And, and people can't easily change their mind. Now they did say that they care about what others think and they're working on looking for outside validation. So maybe they are trying to get into that energy now where they don't want to change their mind about you knowing and feeling that you are the one, pile one. Otherwise, I also got that they don't change their mind easily, but you came in and have changed their whole outlook on everything is what I heard. Last note, my heart is too fragile to take another heartbreak in love. Brought me right back to that seven of cups. They may have chose some things or just had many relationships that did not work out for them pile one and so therefore they're very afraid to give their heart out again maybe this is why they're more logical when it comes to love than emotional but they are saying regardless of they their heart can't is too fragile to take another heartbreak they're still willing to take some form of risk on you because they feel that you are the one and they don't want to lose you so let's close it off with one more message out the box of what their final thought would be to you pile one and i am going to let you go and this could be a spiritual union for some people just because i saw 144 on my phone okay all right one note eyes are closed okay we have Let's be completely open with each other. Let's not hide nothing. Look at that there with the ace of cups. Didn't I say this person ready to open up? All right. I'm sorry I got hyped, y'all. I just, you know, blows my mind when this stuff be coming together. So, pile one. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope these messages warmed your heart, just gave you a little clarity of what's going on in the situation with your person. Your person thinks very highly of you. Your person feels that you are the one. Your person is ready to be open and speak to you and wants you to be open as well. Have an open dialogue and conversation about whatever has taken place in this union if there have been bad traits or uh, low vibrating traits with that devil on both of you guys' part they want you guys to discuss that be objective about that understand that this person has a lot of things on their plate right now if their attention is taken away from you going to that seven of cups and it has nothing to do with how they feel about you if they have never expressed how they feel about you they are sorry about that especially if that caused you to walk away and they are now ready to do that overall they are finding the courage to love you properly is what I heard pile one so again if you enjoyed the reading it gave you the ooey gooey vibes you was looking for or the clarity go ahead and give me a thumbs up hit the like button it's free go ahead and join the love and all that goodish gang if you enjoy kicking it with your girl because I enjoy having you pile one if you are drawn to another pile go ahead over there and I'll see you there in a minute and if you do not know, I am a spiritual teacher and I do have another channel. So if you enjoy the vibe over here, be sure to check out my other channel, Empress Goddess of Healing LLC, and I'll leave the link below. I teach you guys all about spiritual concepts. So if you don't know about herbs, crystals, who spirit is, okay, God, all right? If you don't know about your dreams, past lives, just what the angels, God, your higher self, chakras, all of that wants you to know, check out my channel. Just like I channel your person, y'all, I channel the angelic realm, God, spirit, everybody, all right? I'm here to help you navigate in every area of your life, not just love, okay? Enjoy the rest of your day, pile one. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. So if you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning, thank you so much for supporting your girl and those who have joined the Love and All That Goodish Gang, Thank you so much for the love, y'all. I appreciate every subscriber. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We have a good time over here. So if you didn't watch the intro, pile two, Spirit had me create, minus my nail, y'all. My nail broke in pile one. So, you know, we just finna keep it rocking. All right, let's go. Spirit had me create this love message box, y'all, two days ago, and I just sat and channeled like all these love messages. So this thing is filled to the brim with love messages. So what we're going to do in this reading is I'm just going to pull 
you know, a handful of love messages and we're going to see how your person is feeling and thinking about you right now, what they wish to communicate. Now, I thought it would be dope to do a mixtape. If your person could make a mixtape, what kind of mixtape would they make for you? So I do have six songs. I will put that mixtape down below in the description box for you and let you know what songs, if they made a mixtape for you, Pile 2, what songs would they choose? Now, before I get into that, I do want to say this real quick. I did notice y'all like the channel messages and y'all, I am a medium. I channel in every reading. So the only reason I put channel messages on certain readings is because I don't know what I may be talking about. There's no specific energy or specific topic. So I just say channel messages or love messages and we'll just see whatever your person wants to say, i.e. this one because this box is just full of all kinds of messages. But if there's a title, that just means that is the main overall energy of that reading or the topic that spirit wants us to talk about but i'm always channeling your person you'll always get love messages you'll always know how your person is thinking and feeling about you okay again i am a medium i tap in all the time i'm always tapped in okay so let's get into it pile pile two now before i get into your mixtape i wanted to at least give you some energies of what could be in this box pile too so you can know just in case certain messages may not resonate with you specifically given I'm tapping into a lot of different energies so the energy some of the energies in this love box are a player a hustler an innocent soul a sincere soul and this sincere soul is truly sincere those looking for love Someone feeling very restricted and buttoned up, a very like stuffy energy, a love triangle energy, someone in love, a broken hearted soul, someone new to love and someone either having a spiritual awakening or awakening to a spiritual connection. So those are some of the energies that I channeled with this love box. So pile two, the energy that your person is then right now when it comes to you and their energy is the five of wands so this person could feel like there's a struggle going on in this union with you guys you guys could be fighting a little bit nothing too serious but could be at odds right now this person could feel like there's a lot of attention or, or I'm sorry, this person can feel there's a lot of competition vying for your attention at the moment. But this person just feels like there are a lot of different things coming at them from all different directions as I look at this five of wands. And they're trying to maintain strength right now. They're trying to have the strength in regards to you and just the different things they're going through in their life. Their overall message to you was, I'm juggling too many things at the moment. And how synchronistic is that with the five of wands? And the fact that this paper is purple, I'm giving that it's a lot of things in their mind. You know, they could be having a lot of decisions that they need to make or just a lot of thoughts could be weighing them down at this time. The overall energy for all five piles, pile two, was the eight of pentacles with the statement so thankful for you so regardless of whatever's happening in this pile too this person is very thankful they met you very thankful to have you in their life and in whatever capacity that is or very thankful to have known you if you guys are not together with this eight of pentacles this person with the with the statement i am juggling too many things at the moment this person could be bogged down with work right now or just feels that they may not have the energy to put in the work that's necessary to keep or maintain this relationship at this time, pile two. So that's what I got off of just that. Now, they did have me channel a message specifically for you before I get into your mixtape. And that message says, really wanting to have you in their presence. So regardless of if they're juggling a lot of things right now, pile two, they still long for you to be in their presence. They feel like you are something extraordinary, a fairy tale is what they said when I had channeled this. So even though they are juggling so many things and it's taking them a lot of strength to maintain the things they're trying to work on in their life is what I heard. They said you are something extraordinary. You are somebody that somebody should put in the work for is what I heard. I just may not have the time right now is what I heard 
pile two. So let's go ahead and get into your songs or your mixtape. I, I channeled six songs from your person for you and this is what they said. Number one, come over from Trey Songz. Look at that. Didn't they say they want you in their presence? Look at that there. Now, I channeled the mixtape and all this stuff at different times. I never channeled this all at the same time. So it blows my mind how synchronistic these things are. The statement that stood out the most in the song, Come Over by Trey Songz is, I want you to come over. I know that I have never made it easy. So they are well aware, Pile 2. If you guys have had some type of difficulty or just some obstacles or challenges in your union, they are very aware that being with them is not an easy task. And they didn't mean to make things difficult. I think it's just because they have other things that they need to worry about at this time. Second song, I Need Love by LL Cool J. And the statement that stood out was, when I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscience call. So this person could have done some things that maybe they are not that happy with and they could be battling with their conscience right now or they know that you are a person that they either should be speaking to right now or being with right now because they said they're longing for your presence so you must not be around this person at the moment and they could be ignoring their conscience because they have other things that need their attention at the moment song number three masterpiece by atlantic star now how synchronistic is that when they said they feel you are extraordinary a fairy tale the line that stood out a simple touch of your hand and everything is right this person really wants you near them pile two sometimes i wonder what i'd be had i not found you so they feel you have changed their life in some type of way pile two again they are very thankful that they have met you this fairy tale we share is real in our hearts. Did y'all see that? Look at that there. They feel you are a fairy tale. Song four, pile two. Angel by Tyrese. Again, going back to the extraordinary. Summer came in the middle of winter. I just saw an angel, an angel on earth. Never seen a smile like that. And you blind me with your love and I go crazy so again this person is just in awe of you pile two this person just feels that you are all around a good person is what i heard all around a person that anybody would be happy to be with pile two is what i heard <laughs> number five song five i want to be your man by black street what well, there you go okay they said they place no one above you. So if you are not with this person right now, because they said they're juggling a lot, it's because they don't want to place anyone or anything above you. And right now, again, they have to take care of the things in their life that unfortunately take more precedent than you. And I'm getting that if they had a way to turn that around or there was a way they didn't have to focus on that and be able to focus on you pile two i believe that they would and then song six girl you for me by silk just ask and i'll do look at that they're going to the eight of pentacles this person does want to put in the work there will be no more games that will play so this person does not want to play any games going to that five of wands five of wands could be about play fighting okay you guys could be flexing you know your little inner emotional muscles right now with each other trying to see you know where you guys stand with each other and especially if this person is distracted and they don't want that anymore and it says let me tell you i'm in love with you tonight so if you didn't know pile two regardless of whatever is going on with this person and that could be taking their attention away from you they are telling you they are in love with you and again that could be too why they need to find the strength right now they could be battling with themselves right now because they know they are in love with you they feel you are extraordinary. They desire to have you in their presence like nothing else is what I just heard. Like they, that's one of their main concerns is what I just heard. And they don't, they don't want to fight. They don't want any fighting between you two. So 
Excuse me. Somebody trying to block my throat chakra. So now, pile two, we're going to go ahead and get into the love box, okay? I'm going to shake this up. So I don't know how loud it is. You might need to turn the volume down, but I'm going to shake this up real quick. And then I am going to just grab a handful of messages and then we're going to go from there. So spirit, can you tell me what love messages would best represent how pile two's person is feeling and thinking about them at this moment and what they wish to communicate most at this time? Oh, my bad, y'all. My crystal was in there. Hold on. <laughs> I'm making sure I was clearing the energy from power. What? My bad. That probably was extra loud. Okay. All right. I was just drawn to believe in yourself on my little plaque. So believe in yourself, Pio, too. And this person is believing in you. And they got a lot to say. Okay, let's get into it. All right. So what I'm going to do first, pile two, is I'm going to just get three of these statements, right? And pull them out. Then we're going to pull some tarot just to see if I can match the energy and get a little story. And then we're going to let them just tell you what else they want to tell you, okay? So this one was the first one. My eyes do roam from time to time. I'm human. Now. Going with that, I'm juggling a lot of things right now. Pile two, you guys could not be in a committed union. This person could be juggling a lot of things, meaning other people. And they're saying, yes, my eyes do roam from time to time. I'm human. So they may not just be in a very committed energy at the moment. We have, I sought the wrong advice regarding you. So this person could have asked other people about you, Pile two. They may have been a little unsure because they said you were extraordinary. They said that you are a fairy tale, so they may have thought you were too good to be true, Pile two. And asked somebody about you and got the wrong advice. And we have, I've been known to be a smooth talker, but I ain't running game. Now, again, didn't they say over, oh no, didn't I say over here with the five of wands and I said something with them songs that they didn't want to play any games anymore? Yes, they're saying, yes, I'm known to be a smooth talker. I got a little game, I got a little swag, but I'm not trying to run no game on you. So before we get into all of these messages over here, let's get some tarot and let's see if I can match the energy of the cards with these statements and get some fur further clarification, okay? So spirit, can you tell? <clears throat> somebody is really trying to block my throat chakra in your pile, pile too. I don't know if somebody want me to get this message out or not because I didn't have no throat issues in pile one. Let me make sure that's okay. So spirit, can you tell me what card best represents, clear the energy of this deck, Spirit, can you tell me what card best represents the energy of the statement for Pile Two's person? My eyes do roam from time to time. Look at that there. Now that's a lot, y'all. That's a lot. I'm gonna see what it is though. From time to time, I'm human. We have the Two of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Look at that there. Okay, yes. So Pile Two with the Two of Swords, this person could just be very indecisive. Just could not make decisions all the time or not like to make decisions all the time may waver you know when it's time for decision making may like to just let the chips fall where they may with the two of swords because they said um they my eyes do roam from time to time i'm human this could have caused you to walk away from this person with the eight of cups this person could walk away from relationships very easily because their eyes do roam with the eight of cups but this person does, when they do entertain people, they do put some form of emotion in it because it gets to a point where they feel that they need to walk away or whenever emotions start to get involved, pile two, that's when they walk away because it puts them in an energy of imbalance. This person may not like to rest in emotions, okay, is what I'm getting from that. Now, with this we had, look, we had judgment the hermit the ten of swords the queen of wands and the four of wands and all of that came out in reverse so with judgment in reverse this person could feel a soul calling towards you 
right now and could be resisting it. This person could be resisting a spiritual awakening at this time or this person could be experiencing some type of bad karma. With the hermit in reverse, this person got some bad advice like they said over here with that hermit. They sought the advice or guidance from someone and it did not work out well for them. This person also could be a person who does not like to be alone feels lonely when they are isolated and this could be also why they roam. They let their eyes roam and could hop from relationship to relationship. And the fact that we have judgment and the hermit in reverse, this is a habit of this person. This is a, a habit that this person has had in their life for a while because those are major arcanas, major energy influencing their life. With the 10 of swords in reverse, this person does not like change, does not like endings, may hold on to things long after they should let them go. This could also be what's causing them hardship and struggle in their life at this time. With the Ten of Swords, this person could also overthink things and that could sabotage things that they want in their life. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, this person could be a person who's very promiscuous. Going back to my eyes do roam from time to time I'm human. So they could let their sexual passions or just the desires of their heart and the lust of their eyes, you know, um, sway them and cause them to get easily distracted by other things going to that I'm juggling a lot of things right now. This person could also be very jealous. This person in the reverse could like a lot of attention from other people. And then we had the four of wands in reverse. And this, if this was a marriage, this could have caused a breakdown in a marriage or a divorce. If you guys are not married and you're just dating this person or you were with this person, it could have caused a separation or some type of instability in the home, in the structure. Also, if this is a divine counterpart, because we did have the judgment and I mentioned about not getting on alignment, this person could be refusing to recognize you as a soulmate or a twin flame at this time. However, I believe that is an illusion that they are telling themselves or they're trying to rest in that or they're fighting with themselves about that. And again, going back to the strength, because they said you're extraordinary, a fairy tale, and they want you in their presence. Okay. So that was a lot to unpack with that statement right there. They really wanted you to know about this statement. So it's a habit that they have had for a very long time. Pile two, if you did uh, if you are dealing with a person with a wandering eye or a person you feel is non-committal or just likes to entertain multiple options all the time, it goes to a fear of, of not wanting to be alone. And that's something that stems from probably childhood or somewhere in their past that they built up this like codependency because that is a trait of codependency, fearing rejection and fearing being alone, being attached, staying in something long uh, way longer than you should or ignoring a problem even exists in a relationship if you're in one if you did not know what some of the traits of codependency are okay so let's come on and let's go four i sought the uh, the wrong advice regarding you spirit can you give me a card that best represents the energy of that statement from pile two person and we have the four of pentacles okay with the six of pentacles okay so what I'm getting right here, pile two, whoever they sought advice from in regards to you, that person gave them advice telling them that you probably were a person who would be very attached to them, a person that could be clingy, all right? They probably told them that you were a person who would not give them equal give and take, a person who probably would just take for them. I'm getting that this person might be used to people who use them because that's the narrative that I'm getting. They could have been told that you are a person who is materialistic with the four of pentacles and may only be concerned with your material status or only like people who provide you with superficial things. And again, was told that this will cause an imbalance in their life. I do believe that this person likes structure and some type of balance because I don't feel that they like to be in the energy of where they are juggling and, and things are uncertain. Five is all about change and uncertainty and I don't feel like this person likes change 
that much. This person also could have been told if it was nothing about you, they could have been just told from whoever they sought advice that they may not have been good enough, that they couldn't give you exactly what you were giving them, that they don't, they don't possess the a right amount of balance and stability to be a stable companion for you is what I heard with the four of pentacles. Because four is all about stability. And look, we had a four over here and then we got a four here. All right. Princes of Cups at the bottom of the deck. If there was a child that was involved, they could have been told that you wouldn't accept their child with the Princess of Cups. Also, what I'm getting with the Princess of Cups, they could have been told they are either too naive in love or that you are naive in love and one of you guys are going to get hurt is what I just got. Also, with the Page of Cups, there's a lot coming with this Page of Cups. This person um, apologizes if their eyes did ever roam and that hurt your feelings. But also, they want to hit the reset button on this love is what I just heard. So regardless if they're juggling stuff, they do want to hit the reset button on this love because it went back to I want you in my presence and you're extraordinary. Okay, spirit, can you give me a card that best represents the statement of pile two's person? I have been, I don't know why I keep trying to read this upside down. I have been known to be a smooth talker, but I ain't running game. All right, what card best represents that energy of that statement for Pile Two's person? And we have, look at that there, King of Wands. Yeah, absolutely, with the Queen of Cups. Now look at that there. Okay, bottom, oh, yeah, that was the bottom of the deck with the Fool. Didn't I say they want to have a reset? Okay, so check it out. Pile Two. Sorry if I'm hitting the mic. My, my shoulder keeps itching right here. Okay, Pile Two. With the King of Wands. The King of Wands is somebody who's a leader is somebody that you can count on and that you can depend on someone who is very passionate about the things that they care about and that they love is somebody very attractive though and that draws a lot of attention and has a lot of people who vie for their attention may not have a lot of friends but have a lot of people who like their attention or like being around them a very charismatic person so and a smooth talker so if that's the energy that they're in, they're saying that's just my energy. But basically, I'm here and I turn it on and turn it off when I feel I need to. Right now, they're saying they're turning that off. They're not doing that to you. With the Queen of Cups, they feel that you are very loving. They feel that you are very compassionate. If you are a mother, they love you being a mother, especially if you are a mother to their children. If you are a mother to their children, or their child they're saying the things that they tell you they are not running game so you may feel like sometimes this person is giving you lip service this person is trying to show up and be dependable for you with the fool they are saying that if you took a risk on them I heard you may have taken the risk too soon is what I heard pile two meaning because they aren't quite ready for you but i'm hearing all is not lost because i'm looking at that cup you may have offered your love to this person and the fact that their back is turned they may not have accepted that love from you pile two just because they're focused on other things their eyes could be focused on all this stuff that's roaming all this stuff that's distracting them because that's the way that card is pointing right there however Again, you give them that extraordinary vibe. You are that sun that they are trying to reach up for, pile two. So what I'm getting with the fool, if they did play games with you and, and was, you know, finessing you at one point, they're trying to start it all over again and come a different way to you, pile two, if that's the case. If not, this person has just changed, you know, how they interact when it comes to you with that fool. They are ready to embrace whatever this is between you two. And I'm getting for some of them, they could be awakening to a spiritual union between you two, given that fool is all about reaching new heights of enlightenment. Okay, so that's what I got off the mixtape and you know, the cards with these three statements. Now let's let your person tell you what they wanna tell you, pile two. So I'm just going to, you know, shuffle it up and whatever my eyes are drawn to is how I'm going to grab them. This one first. We have, I'm not built 
for love now okay now remember we have many different energies that's why i read the energies in this box so for the ones that know they are dealing with a person who has a roaming eye who likes to have a lot of different people they just don't feel that they are built for love which means they probably are afraid of love uh look you exhaust me emotionally and this given this is yellow really affects their solar plexus chakra where their willpower and strength is <laughs> bringing me right to that strength you exhaust them emotionally is because i feel like they don't know what to do with how they feel about you at this time especially if this is a person who likes to be a player or have many different options i think you embody every quality that all these different options that they are pursuing have and it just blows their mind that they found all of that in one person and maybe they're not ready to to make that shift and that change and take that leap with the fool to actually give you their heart is what i heard okay we have it says whatever is hindering this let's move it out the way so they are well aware with again the five of wands that there, there are some things that are hindering you guys but they said let's move it out the way with this eight of pentacles let's move it out the way because i want to be with you i want you in my presence we have i'm in my f boy f girl mode right now now how synchronistic is that with the eight of cups the two of swords not wanting to make a decision you know what i'm saying and being in that roaming energy my love is all yours now that could be the conflict too with this five of wands pile two in that strength is inside they know they know for a fact that their love is all yours but on the outside they want to still act like they have some type of control pile two so they like to entertain other people if that scenario resonates with you if there is no other party involved again there's many different energies they're saying that their love is all yours despite what may be in their life that they are juggling at this time it says with each day i aim to be a better person because of you absolutely they are trying to better themselves for you i want to study you so this person is trying to learn you this person is trying to figure out what makes you tick so that they can be the best person show up as the best version of themselves for you we have your love is a welcome sign to my soul now didn't i say something with that judgment that you know they could be trying to not get on alignment or could be feeling some call towards you yes they feel that your love is a welcome sign for their soul so their soul knows that they are in love with you didn't say something about i'm in love with you with that girl for you uh girl you for me song yes okay what do we have I love it when you tell me you love me before I tell you. So this is a person either you are with or you were with that you had some type of relationship or union with and you have told this person that you love them. And if you've never told this person, this person feels that from you and they reciprocate that feeling to you. You brought sunshine into my life. Did I not say you did that with that sun? Absolutely. Thanks for backing your girl up, person. Uh-oh. Trigger warning, y'all. Trigger warning. For those that this resonate, it says, I cheated on you. I'm sorry. That could be that five of wands. That could be causing the fight. That could be now why, where this person now wants to put in the work with the eight of pentacles. Now they're so thankful for you because they know you could have walked away again, like I said, because their eyes were roaming and they're admitting for some of them where that resonates that, you know, they did step out. So don't put that if you know your person ain't stepping out. Hey, we ain't causing no problems in homes now, okay? Only if that resonates, all right? We have you make me feel safe so this person feels safe with you feels like they can let their guard down so if they are keeping their guard up it's just it's old habits it's just that they just really don't want to put up their player hat just because they hold on to pride and ego okay pile two look it says don't be scared of me so if this person does have you know ways that could be controlling overbearing in and out of your life they don't want you to be afraid of them. Temperamental. King of Wands can be temperamental sometimes. They don't want you to be afraid of them. All right. Just make sure there is not any type of abuse going on. 
It says we are an epic love story. Absolutely. This person knows there is some type of soul calling when it comes to you, Pile 2. They feel you guys would be an epic love story. You make me want to stop and smell the roses. You change this person's outlook on life. You, you, you make this person want to stay in the moment is what I heard, especially when it comes to you. They want to stay in the moment and they're just feeling more present, not only in life, but just on this earth. They're just feeling more present in their body is what I heard. It's crazy how much I miss you. So if you guys are in separation, this person is missing you desperately because again, they said they need you in their presence. I want to bring you around my family. So if you've never met their family, pile two, they are ready to bring you around the family. That could be what they were juggling. Maybe they were juggling their family matters. You know, a lot of people are family oriented or I shouldn't say a lot of people. Some people are very family oriented. So if this person is very family oriented, they could have been juggling their family with you, pile two, their children. If it's not, you know, just a regular family, if they're a person who could have children, it could be that as well as what I just got. Give me some time to open up to you. I will. So again, if you don't know how this person is feeling about you or you've had some questions or want to have a conversation and they seem a little closed off, they're saying give them some time. They're working on that pile too and they will open up to you. I don't know if I can leave things in the past. That could be your energy or their energy, especially if you guys are in a separation due to infidelity. If you were the one that walked away, you may be feeling like you can't forgive them. If they are the one that walked away and you were the one that did something, they may feel like they may not be able to forgive you. If they are the one in the wrong, right? They are having a hard time forgiving themselves and, and they may just be in an energy of replaying all of the things that have gone wrong, not only in your relationship, but other relationships going back to that five of wands. We have, I'll place no one above you. So again, if they left or you guys broke up because of that roaming eye, they have learned that lesson. They don't want to put anybody above you anymore. I'm sorry for lying to you. So regardless of the situation, if they ever lied to you at all, pile two, they apologize for that. This love gets me so anxious. This person really does not know how to handle their feelings for you at this time, especially if you are in this queen of cups energy, you know what I'm saying? Just unconditional love, you know, a person who they can depend on, a person who gives good advice, a person who um, is very loving towards children and just loving towards themselves. A lot of self love. If you're in that energy, they don't know how to handle that. Could be why they're trying to turn their back a little bit in regards to that. I'm doing some soul searching, going back to that hierophant, absolutely not looking for other people to give them advice, really trusting their own insight and intuition when it comes to you, pile two. We complement each other well, so they do feel you guys are a great fit, regardless of what's happening, pile two. You guys are a great fit. They said you complement each other. Can you come back to me now? <laughs> So for the ones who walked away in the split, again, they said they need you in their presence, pile two. They said enough is enough. Come back to me now. Look, I want you to contact me. Now, how synchronistic is that? So if y'all have not talked, especially if you guys are in a no contact situation and you guys have not spoken, this person is waiting for you to contact them. It says, don't put your life on hold for me. So some of them are still in that energy of wanting to roam or not wanting to be serious with anything. So if there, if you do want to be serious with this person, pile two, if you resonate with that energy, they are saying, don't put your life on hold right now. It is best for you to just continue to move forward because they are not able to give you what you are desiring at this moment. I was so unmotivated before you came along and look at that, that's orange with that sacral chakra. So they could have just been feeling a little lackluster. They could have just been not really believing in themselves, having a little low self-esteem. But when you came along, you motivate them, you inspire them, you make them want to get up and do things is what I heard. 
Whenever my phone vibrates, I look to see if it's you. Did I not say they're waiting for your call? Now, y'all saw me flip that over. They hope to see that it's you. This person wants you to call them. They may be too afraid to call you, especially if they're in the wrong. Going back, excuse me, Going. they ain't like me saying that. Y'all heard that? <laughs> going back to that strip card. Okay, we have... You don't listen to me. I'm getting that might be your energy, Kyle, too. You may feel like this person didn't listen to you, especially if it had to do with other people. You could have warned them about something or this person feels like you may not listen to them if they come back to you and open up about what they've done wrong, I heard, and how they feel. Our love languages clash. And look, that flipped over. So that could be a big issue in this union is that your love languages clash or they feel that they do. And all that means is that you guys need to sit down and both learn your love languages. There are different love languages. There's the act of service where people like to give gifts and things like that. There's touch where people express their affections through touch, through sex, things like that. There is affirmations. Someone likes to tell you how they feel, okay? What are the other ones? That, those are the only ones I can think of at the moment. But there are five love languages. What I do, I'll put a, a link of the la love languages down below. But all you guys need to do is just sit with each other and figure out those love languages if you want to be together. We have, you don't make time for me like you used to. Now, that could be your energy as well, Pile 2, especially with them saying, I'm juggling a lot of things right now. For the ones who are putting other things above you, you could be feeling like they don't have enough time for you or vice versa. You could be not making time for them anymore, especially if they've hurt you. They could be coming back around now trying to make things right and you're just, you know, a little cautious if you even want to give them another chance and may not be, you know, giving your all to the situation as you did in the past is what I got, all right? I'm ready to make the necessary changes. Look at that there. Didn't I say somebody might be trying to come around and you might be, yeah, a little standoffish. They ready to make them changes for you, pile two. And the fact that that's orange, they have really sat with their emotions, okay? So they're really trying to make a change. Each day, I love you more and more. Absolutely all of them, regardless of the energy. I want to whisper, I love you in your ear. This person has told you about three, four times already that they love you. So never doubt that. I'm suffering a loss right now. Going back to the five of wands. Didn't I talk about struggle, hardship? Absolutely. So that could be it as well. Pile two is they just suffered a loss. They could have had a death in the family. They could have lost their job. Um, they could be losing their freedom. They could be losing their stability. They could have had a financial loss and, and that's taking a toll right now. So they have to juggle and shuffle some things around. So they may not be able to give their attention to you. If that is the case, they are sorry. And they just want you to know that they love you. My body. No, I'm sorry. My body. Uh, somebody. I was about to say my body's on fire. So somebody body on fire. Cause that's what I was about to say, but that's not what this says. It says that body is fire so regardless of somebody body on fire because i said it so so um so whether masculine or feminine regardless of what your shape is this person is extremely turned on by that behind do you hear me pile two they want that behind all right we have you got me wanting to get on bended knee so again for those who are you know that play a player play yet they are thinking of changing their ways because you make them want to settle down their things are hectic right now yes going back to that five of wands there's some hectic energy around this person and i'm getting around this union as well separation is not an option so if you guys are separated they don't like it they said they want you in their presence and they want you guys to merge if you guys are still together and just fighting a little bit with this five of wands right now due to you know some roaming or just other things taking their attention because third parties and distractions don't always have to be people they're saying separation is not an option so we need to sit down and figure it out is what i heard because they ain't letting you go is what i heard come on through we have We've been friends long enough. I want you to be mine now, going to that fool. So for those who are just dating, you know, just met this person, things are still new. You guys are still trying to figure out where you want to be in this situation with each other. They are saying y'all been friends long enough. They want you to be mine. They want to claim you now. 
innocent and sweet. That's what you are. They feel that you are so sweet and so innocent and they love that about you. You embody the peace I seek. Absolutely. Especially if their life is chaotic and hectic. They love that. Again, that sun energy that you bring. And I am avoiding this confrontation. Now, how synchronistic is that with the five of wands? And that's all about fighting. Absolutely. So if you're not talking to this person, if this person is avoiding, you know, speaking with you at this time, if you guys are living together or in a union and you're trying to bring up something of importance and they keep on shucking it, it's because they know it's going to cause a confrontation and they don't want that at this time. So we're going to get one final message from your person and then we're going to wrap this up. Pile two. Okay. All right, Spirit, what final message would Pile 2 person like to give them? And we have this, the way I feel right now is hazy. Now look at that there, okay? So they're saying, yes, they are a little clouded right now in the way that they feel about you, Pile 2. Even though some of them feel they could get on bended knee, you have them feeling like they could change their player ways if that's the energy that they're in. Some of them are ready to make you a priority and put down some of these distractions. Some of them are not ready to put down distractions and still want to focus on the other things that are drawing their attention right now. And although that may hurt you right now, pile two, they are sorry. Doesn't mean that they don't want to spend time with you. Doesn't mean that they don't want you in their presence. But if you're looking for something long-term and committed at this very moment, pile two, this person is not ready for that, regardless of whatever energy you guys are in. Now, if you guys are separated and this person is coming back, this person has realized how much you mean to them, pile two, and now is willing to put in the work, but still in that energy of being uncertain. So I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket, pile two. I would really take things slow and let this person prove to you that they're really ready to just be with you and only you if you are a person who desires a committed union, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the reading pile too. I hope it gave you some clarity and some ooey gooey vibes from your person. If you enjoyed the reading, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit the like button, okay? It helps grow the channel. If you enjoy kicking it with your girl, go ahead and subscribe. Join the love and all that goodish gang. I channel in every reading, y'all. We will all always have readings where you'll know what your person is and we have a good time over here if you were drawn to another pile go ahead over there and i will see you there and if you didn't know y'all i am a spiritual teacher i do have another channel it is called empress goddess of healing i will leave the latest video i uploaded in the link below but just like i channel your person over here i channel god the angels ascended masters i teach you about chakras crystals herbs harnessing the moon astrology past lives dreams talking to your higher self what god wants you to know most right now so although uh, i know you guys like the love channel and a lot of people like love readings but always know how to move in every area of your life and that's what god put me on this earth to teach people and help people with how to navigate in every area of their life so if you want to know more than just love Go ahead and check out the link below and see my spiritual channel. There are about six videos up right now and I'll, I'm trying to upload every week like I do on this channel, okay? So again, thank you so much for being with me, Pal 2, and I hope you enjoyed the reading. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So if you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome to the channel. Those returning, thank you so much for loving on your girl. I appreciate the support. I appreciate every like, every view. If you comment, I will respond, okay? Those who have joined the Loving All That Goodish Gang, thank you so much, y'all, for the support and loving on your girl. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, y'all. We have a good time over here. So, this reading, again, if you did not watch the intro, is channeled messages from your person and how they are currently feeling and thinking about you right now. And I thought it would be dope to do a mixtape. So, I did select or channel six songs for you guys. This is a mixtape from your person about how they're feeling about you right now to further express you know, what they wish to communicate. Now, 
Also, if you didn't watch the intro, if you see this big love box right here, Spirit had me channel love messages, y'all, two days ago. I sat down and just channeled all these messages. And if you can see, look, messages falling. We're going to keep them for you. If you can see, it is full. And these messages are like little tiny papers, y'all. So I'm telling you, it is messages upon messages up in here. So I'm going to tell you what energies are represented in this box. And this is not all the energies I channel, but this just a few so you can get an idea of some of the messages that may come out of here just in case they all don't resonate for you given I am touching a large collective and I'm tapping into many different energies. Also, I did notice that you guys like the channel messages. So guys, I'm a medium, I'm a psychic, so... <laughs> I can tap into anybody. Every reading I do is a channeled message. You will always have messages from your person. I will always tap into them. Somebody's gonna click in and tell me something that's in every reading that's on my channel. The reason why I title them something other than a channel message is because that's what spirit wants me to title them. And that's the main energy I'm focusing on for that read, but it's still a channeled message. When it's just as channel messages, that just means we're gonna have a free for all. And I don't know what your person may say and we're just gonna channel them and I'm, we're just gonna go for it, okay? So I just wanted to make that clarification now for you, Pile 2. The energies that are represented in this box, so you can get an idea of what messages may come out is a player, a hustler, an innocent soul, a sincere soul, and the sincere soul is really sincere, so freaking sweet, okay? Those looking for love, Someone who feels very restricted and buttoned up, maybe stuffy, may not know how to let loose. Anyone or any energy sur surrounding a love triangle. Someone in love, a broken hearted soul, someone new to love and someone either having a spiritual awakening or has awakened to a spiritual connection they feel they have with you now. Pile two, your message from your person is your love deserves a mixtape. Now, how synchronistic is that? Because I do this at different times, y'all, and I did your mixtape, you know, at a different time than pulling the messages, okay? And I did the mixtape. I had that idea way before I even created this deck, okay? So they're saying your love deserves a mixtape. So this person could either feel they hear you in music, they could think of you a lot when they listen to music, you could be thinking of this person when you listen to music or hear them in songs, but somehow music plays a big part in this person's emotions. I'm hearing that music helps this person process their emotions for you. And you guys have the Ace of Cups. So this is the energy that represents your person and how they feel towards you right now, pile three, and your person is in love with you, pile three. They have deep, deep love for you, whether you know this or not. Either they have expressed this to you or they are suppressing this at this time and it's about to bubble over and they're going to explode if they do not get it out. You give this person great satisfaction. You rejuvenate this person. You stimulate this person, pile three. This person feels great harmony with you, okay? This person is trying to learn how to go more with their heart and the things that are in their heart and that bring them joy, that fill them with love is what I heard. They battle with that. Do you see how there's like a string or something around the arm? It's like something tries to hold them back whenever they try to really experience true love is what I heard. They feel that they could have a great beginning with you. And if you already with this person, they feel that you guys just continue to renew your love with each other. Very good vibes, very good ooey vibes that I get from this person with you. Pile three. Also with the Ace of Cups, this person really enjoys loving you is what I heard. They really enjoy loving you, okay? This could be a person who's wealthy with the Ace of Cups. This is a person who embodies self-love and likes the amount of self-love that you embody as well. And this person is a giver. They just, they just like to give of themselves or they feel that of you, okay? With Dream, 
this person could feel you are a dream come true. This person could dream of you or you could have dreamt of them. But what I'm getting is that this person stores you in their subconscious mind is what I heard. And we also have water and water deals with the moon and the moon deals with the subconscious mind as well. So that could be that if you guys are not together, you do not know how this person feels about you. They carry you like in the back of their mind, even if they're not necessarily consciously thinking of you somewhere, you're resting in their mind on like a continuous basis, pile three. Also, what I'm getting with the dealing with the subconscious mind, you may bring up fears or you may bring up some shadow work that this person has to do in regards to the subconscious. You may bring up some behaviors that are maybe a secret to you because then that brings me back to the moon as well that you may not know about. And I'm hearing they may be a little afraid to reveal to you because they feel you are a dream come true. Now, the overall energy is the eight of pentacles with the the message so thankful for you so and that's the message for all five piles so regardless of pile three of if you're with this person or not with this person they are very thankful for you they feel like any work that they have put into you was well deserved you deserved all of the hard work that they have put into you if they have not put any yet they will put in hard work i heard to have you and keep you pile three if you are an artist, because I just looked at this person painting, they like your work. If you create in any type of way, this person either follows you or, or watches your work and they feel that you are very talented. I was also drawn to this person's hair. However you wear your hair, hair whether masculine or feminine, pile three, they, they enjoy and love that as well. And I was just drawn to all of the pentacles. I was drawn to how there were seven and then the one that she's working on. So there could be other things that could be pulling their attention away from you at this time, but they are meaningless distractions is what I heard. Their focus is, is on you and they want to continue to keep their focus on you with that page. Uh, I'm sorry, with the page, with this eight of pentacles. I, a message may be coming to you because I was seeing page of pentacles in my mind. And you guys, it is getting brighter as the day is going on. It's either it gets darker or lighter when I do readings, okay? So I hope that the sun and the natural light is not affecting you seeing the cards, all right? So before I get into your mixtape, they did have me channel Pile 3 some specific messages that they wanted you to know specifically from them before I jumped into the love box. And they said they are undergoing or they have gone through a major transformation. So I think that was spirit coming in, letting you know, pile three, that this person has either undergone a major transformation or is in the process of doing that as we speak, okay? They feel a desperate need to express their feelings to you and they are very excited to do so. Going back to that Ace of Cups, going back to that Eight of Pentacles, okay? They are proud to call you there. So if you are with this person, they are very proud to have you on their arm. They are very proud to know that you belong to them is what I heard and not in a possessive way, okay? If you are not with this person, this person would love to call you theirs. And they also said they are totally into you and want to give you their all going back to that ace of cups they are ready to surrender to this love if this is something that is new or something that's just budding and if you guys are already together they feel they have made a great decision in choosing you to love and for falling in love with you now let's see what these other two little messages where they wanted to creep out before i get into your mixtape we have don't let our love die so again if you guys are together they never want you guys to let the love die regardless of what happens and takes place they want you guys to always put your love first always have your love as a top priority over anything is what i heard if you guys are no longer together if this is an ex if this is someone that you are at a distance with or no contact or separation they're saying don't let our love die there's still a lot of love here with the Ace of Cups and I'm getting on both parts given that energy is the Ace of Cups and they do not want you to let the love die. And also I bottle up my feelings for you. How synchronistic is that? And, and the fact that this is red, when they sit in their feelings 
for you. It makes them feel unstable. It makes them feel ungrounded because that's red with the base chakra. And this, uh, don't let our love die, given that that's purple, they really want you to think about, have you give it your, I, okay, what I'm hearing is have you given it your all? So when they say don't let our love die, they really want you to try everything first before you guys split or they're willing to do that. Okay, so let's get into the mixtape. Pile three, your six songs are Changes by Her. And Her is the artist, if you did not know, because that did sound, like I said, Changes by Her. Okay, the, the, the line that stood out is, I've, lately I've been going through some changes, been running out of maybes. I know you are losing patience. So if this person has not opened up because they said I'm ready, what did it say? I bottle up my feelings for you. So if you don't know how they feel, if they have never communicated they love you, never communicated they have feelings for you, that they admire you, that they find you beautiful is what I just heard, that they always want to be with you is what I just heard. They are saying they're going through some changes. They're trying to change that part about themselves so that they can open up a little bit more. Song number two. Song goes off by Trey Song. Lines that stood out was, no, you imagine too, you and me, getting back to, you and me, been past due. So they're saying they know that you've imagined getting back with them just like they have imagined getting back with you. They're saying that it is a dream of both of you guys going back to that dream stone. So, and they're saying that you and them getting back together is past due. So if you are in a separation with this person, they feel you guys have been separated way too long. That's why they feel like it's time for me to open up now because I don't want this separation anymore. Could be also why they feel you deserve a mixtape pile three is because they don't know how to express themselves. So they may have to give you songs so you to know, you know, how they feel about you. Song three. Can't Wait by DVSN. And the line that stood out was, nobody wants you like I do. Nobody feels you like I could. Life's too short, let's not waste any time. So if there's been any time, because it did say something about you're losing patience in the song, right? In changes, right? Song number one, you were losing patience. So they are saying, they know you may be getting frustrated with them. But they're saying that even if you walked away or they walked away, if you're entertaining someone else, if you're in a new relationship, because that Ace of Cups could mean you're in a new relationship with someone else, pile three, and this could be someone of your past. They're saying nobody's going to love you the way I can. Nobody's going to treat you the way I can. Life's too short to make a mistake on love, pile three. Choose me is what I heard, pile three. Come on through. Number four, Lady by D'Angelo. All right, this person be, you know, back in the day, be right in the present. So I'm getting this person has a very eclectic energy about them, okay? Uh, you may not be able to always pinpoint, you know, their mood and how they, they want to interact or behave with you. But with lady, it says, you're my little lady, my darling baby. I'm, t I'm tired of hiding what I feel. How synchronistic is that, y'all? Okay, so they are saying they are tired of hiding how they feel for you, pile three. So again, if you didn't know that this person had feelings for you, deep emotions for you, loves you, they do. Song five, So Into You by Tamir. How synchronistic is that? I think you're truly something special. There's no reason to have a friend or two. What you've done to me, I can't really explain. Explain it. So they're saying right now you are something special. Pile three. Something very special to them. They feel that they could commit to you. Even if this person is in or was in a non-committal energy with you, the, the, the level of specialty is what I heard <laughs> that you possess makes them feel that they don't need a friend or two. They don't need anybody else. They just need you. Pile three. They also said, what have you, what you've done to me, I can't really explain. So you have made them feel a type of way they've never experienced before, pile three. And they're really scratching their head as I had just scratched my head. Look at that there. Trying to really figure out, are you just a dream? Because I was brought to that rock. Are you just a dream? Are you just a fantasy? Are you an illusion in their mind? Or are you truly real? 
is what I heard. And then number six, giving you all my love by Carl, Carl Thomas. And didn't I say something about somebody wanting to give you they all? I thought I did. With, maybe I just said that with the Ace of Cups. And it says, all alone, by the phone, waiting on you to call on a busy weekend. So if you have not heard from this person and you guys aren't talking or this is no contact, this person waits by the phone hoping you will call them pile three, okay? You could be a person who's very, very busy on the weekend or this person has a busy weekend, all right, but would stop and make time to speak to you if you called them. It also says, I'll be giving you all my love. So if they haven't given it to you yet, they plan on giving you all their love pile three. I can show you years if you let me Pile three, this person is in it for the long haul with this Ace of Cups. They said, I can show you years, not days, not weeks, not months. I want to show you years. Pile three, they said, we can try to blend forever. So this person has forever thoughts about you. Pile three. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. That's just like the overall energy and the overall, you know, statements they wish to communicate and what I was picking up. Now, we're going to get into the love messages box. I'm going to shake it up. I'm going to pull a handful of whatever messages, spirit feels best displays, how your person is thinking and feeling about you and what they wish to communicate. And then I'm going to lay like three tarot cards out for the first three statements to get the energy and we're going to go. All right. And let them tell you what they want to say. So I don't know if it's loud when I shake it up. So just brace yourself real quick. All right, spirit. Can you tell me what? Love messages most represent how Pile Three's person is currently thinking and feeling about them at this time. All right, and I'm gonna close my eyes when I grab it, okay? All right, that, ooh, ooh, y'all got a lot too. Okay, Pile Two kinda had a lot too. All right, so now let me just shuffle it up and then whatever my eyes are drawn to will be the first three, okay? That one, this one, and this one. Okay, we have you can be mad. I still love you, though. Look at that there with that Ace of Cups. And look, that's green. So definitely in the heart chakra, they definitely are saying they love you. And that's a true statement. Pile three. So they're saying if you are mad at them right now for whatever reason, they don't care. They actually think it's cute and it's not going to change their love for you. We have, I don't think you can hold me now. That goes back to the... I bottle up my feelings for you. So I'm getting a couple things with I don't think you can hold me. And this has to do with I think their third eye chakra. They could be not listening to their intuition in regards to you because I feel like their intuition is pulling them to you. I feel like they know that they are drawn to you, pile three, and they know that they want something with you, pile three, because it said that they were going through a major transformation. And the fact that they say, I don't think you can hold me means that they may have some traits or behaviors they feel that you may not be able to handle or the emotions that they feel, the intense love that they feel for you. Because some of you guys may be a little standoffish to love. I'm getting that as well. A little closed off. You may have been hurt by love in the past and not really sure you want to fully give your heart to someone is what I just heard. And if that's the case, and this person has all this overflowing love for you, pile three, you may, they may feel you can't hold them. Okay, but this could also just be a fear. And then we have, I hate this delay so if there is a delay between you and this person right now pile three for whatever reason they hate it okay they can't stand the delay they don't like any separation if there's a separation between you two the times that you guys do not speak if you are communicating but don't communicate as often as you used to they don't like it whatever is holding them back from you they don't like it and they think about it a lot because this is purple, okay? So that's dealing with the mind, the crown chakra. So let's go ahead and get a little tarot, pile three. And let's see if I can match the energy of these statements with the tarot cards, all right? I did cut to the nine of cups. So you do satisfy this person. This person really gets great emotional fulfillment from you with the nine of cups. This person feels you are a wish come true, going back to that dream with the Nine of Cups. And this person just feels like anybody would be lucky to have your love, is what I heard. Going back to that, so thankful 
for you, okay? This person also probably gets chills around you because I instantly got chills and I've been hot. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, spirit. Can you give me a card that best represents the energy that matches the statement of Pal 3's person? You can be mad. I still love you though, okay? Oh, and before I even do that, Remember I told y'all that I was picking up energies. This one right here, you can be, you can still be mad. I still love you though. This is either a hustler or a player, okay? I don't think you can handle me. Same energy. I hate this delay. That is of the same energy. Someone who is a sincere soul and someone who desperately wants love, regardless of what they display. And I think I forgot to like explain those with the other ones, but I was called to do that with you. So I always follow intuitive action, okay? All right, spirit, can you give me a card that best represents the energy of the statement that Pile 3 person made? You can be mad, I still love you though, okay? You are in their heart is what I heard. Look at that there, the tower, look at that there. Bottom of the deck with the five of cups. Okay, so listen. So something came unexpectedly. Either you got some unexpected news, pile three. This person could have had an unexpected shakeup in their life, something that really rocked them, disrupted their world, put them in the energy of sorrow, put them in the energy of being um, pessimistic, not really seeing the bright side of life, could not really be seeing the bright side of your union or situation, but something came unexpectedly and it was divinely orchestrated given it was the tower that upset you. And they're saying, although you are still disappointed or upset with them, they still love you. They don't care. It's not they don't care that you're mad. They're saying that's not going to stop them from wanting to be with you is what I heard. And the fact that I was just shuffling that the wrong way lets me know that it's turning you both inside out. Look at that there. Come on through. Spear, give me a card that best represents the energy of the statement that Pile 3's person made. I don't think you can hold me okay we have the wheel of fortune look at that with the magician look at that there okay with the statement i don't think you can hold me pile three this is a person who could be in and out of your life or is used to being in and out of relationships this is a person who just likes to go with the flow maybe not like to make concrete plans a whole lot this is a person who believes in fate and destiny and believes that whatever is meant to be will be in their life this is a person who likes control over their life with that magician energy see this this world in this person's hand this is a person who likes to create their own world who is very good at manifesting things who is a natural manipulator whether that's in a positive light or a negative light but this person is a great communicator they have the gift of gab they know how to speak the things that they want into existence so i'm getting that they don't know if you may be able to hold their attention or vice versa if you're in that energy or because they're so used to being like the top dog they're so used to always getting what they want even though they have all this immense love for you, pile three, they may not just be sure that, yeah, I think their main concern is can you keep their attention? Because they said they have forever thoughts. They, they, in one of them songs, I think I've channeled something about forever. So I think this is like a player, a hustler, a street cat, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who's just used to moving however they want to move. And with this tower again, you came and shook them up. And they're a little bit concerned about that. Give me one more card, Spirit. Give me one more card since those are two. And because those are two major arcanas, you cause a big shakeup in their life. And this is also something that they're used to. They're used to people not being able to match them energetically is what I heard. They're used to people not giving what they, they give. They're used to relationships that are transactional is what I heard, where they know exactly what they're getting I heard I pay for I'm paying for what I want to get is what I heard so this might be a person yeah who likes transactional relationships no disrespect to the person but they might you know like to trick and it ain't no disrespect to nobody that's just what it is and you don't know what tricking is is where you, you know you give a female or a male 
cash for whatever it is that you want from them. It doesn't have to just necessarily be sex. It could be companionship. You know, you could be trying to keep them as a side piece or something or, you know, they're beneficial in some type of way to you. So you feel that you need to reciprocate that in a monetary way instead of giving emotions. Going back to, what did it say? I bottle up my feelings for you. So this is a person who doesn't like to sit in their emotions. So they may like to display how they feel in ways where they use money instead of either verbally expressing it or physically expressing it to you, okay? And this card clarified, we had the four of cups. Yeah, this person has had a lot of disappointment when it comes to love, pile three, and this is why they feel that you can't hold them. But they absolutely manifested you in their life going back to that dream card they absolutely are trying to manifest love in their life okay and with this wheel of fortune this person also probably resists change a whole lot likes you know things to be a little bit routine but that causes boredom in their life as well you are a good shake up for them the energy of this deck okay with the statement i hate this delay spirit can i get a card that best represents the energy of that statement from pile three look at that there we have the fool look at that and the devil bottom of the deck with the five of swords so pile three over here they hate whatever's blocking this beginning with you if it's a beginning from the start or reconciliation a new beginning with you i'm also getting that delays could be because they have had some risky behavior because we have the devil here there could be some things that they are still tied to whether it's thought patterns given we have steps going up to their mind however they could be breaking those chains and ascending given we have those steps going up it could be some people that are around them right now that are negative influences that that could be causing the delay especially if this is a spiritual connection which i feel that it is spirit could be coming in with that tower to break you guys up a little bit if you're not with this person so that this person can uh, heal whatever areas in their life that are keeping them in a stagnant energy, that are keeping them chained to things more in the material world. This person also could be going through a dark night of the soul or an ascension and therefore really trying to, you know, take baby steps to the word I'm looking for, disconnect themselves from things in the material world, meaning things that you find satisfaction and gratification in but may not be the best for you health wise mentally emotionally or physically and with the five of swords okay there could have been fighting between you and this person because it said i know you can be mad but i still love you so it could have been a fight that came and rocked up this union with that tower okay there could be some drama going on with the five of swords this person could have a lot of drama going on in their life right now with the five of swords, but there's just some miscommunication between you two and some uncertainty, and that's what's causing the delay. And the fact, again, that we have the devil and the fool, and these are major arcanas with the five of swords, is something in this person's mind that needs to change. There are some negative, and I'm hearing debilitating, if that is even a word, debilitating thought patterns that are preventing this person from having a new beginning not only in their life and for this connection to have a re-spark is what i heard okay so that's what i'm getting just off of those three messages and the cards that came through all right and the fact that you have all these major arcanas is what i just saw besides these three cards the ace of cups the four of cups which is heavily emotion so this person is really thinking about emotional matter whatever's going on in this union and in their life has to do with matters of the heart, all right? And it is clouding their mind also because they're looking at things as, you know, in a pessimistic way, all is lost instead of looking at it as there still could be a future, okay? I just got that as well. But this is something that is majorly taking place in this person's life and I feel like spirit has stepped in in regards to this, again, especially with the tower and the wheel of fortune and I'm getting that both of you guys just need to really acknowledge how you guys are feeling about each other. You, Pile 3, need to really sit and acknowledge how you feel about this person 
and how they feel about you because it said that this person was going through a major transformation and I feel that you are in the heart space as well. Pile three and it says, don't let our love die. So I'm getting you both don't want this to end, okay? Especially your person. But let's go ahead and get into the messages now and let's see what else they want to say. And I'm just going to pull whatever draws my eye and let's see if the conversation comes out, okay? All right, those two. We have, I'm effed up right now. Goes to that tower and could also go to the devil. So regardless of whatever is happening, it is effing them up. If you guys had a fight, if you're mad at them, it's effing them up. If you guys are separated, it's, it's effing them up. If there's something else going on in their life that's causing a major shakeup with that tower and that devil and it has nothing to do with you, it's effing them up right now, okay? We have, can you see us having a family going to that fool? So this person and the Ace of Cups, this person does view you as a person they could have a long time union or relationship with even building a family and wants to know, do you see that as well? I was drawn to, I try and try, but I can't get you out of my head going to that devil. Absolutely has very, uh, I'm sorry, has a lot of obsessive thoughts about you. I want you in my world. Absolutely. Going to the magician and how synchronistic is that when this magician is holding the world, if you guys can see that, absolutely wants you in their world. Uh, come over and let's let a movie watch us. So this person wants to get some, you know, nasty time in with you, pile three. They want some intimate time with you going right over that devil. Okay, we have our love powers galaxies. Absolutely going back to that magician and that ace of cups. And again, I do feel like this is a spiritual connection, pile three. Let's keep things interesting yes again going with that magician and the four of cups i told you this person could have been a little bored in love they said they don't know if you can hold them so they want to always make sure you guys keep things interesting always have that zest for life always bring the romance in always have that spark okay never be in anything boring y'all there's so many ideas of things to do y'all should never be in a relationship that's boring or lackluster that's lacking some spice don't do that to yourself okay that's just me. All right, let's go. Do you think you could ever trust me again? Tower, five of cups, going back to, um, you can be mad, I still love you though. And with the five of cups, that's also about someone feeling guilty, okay? That's also about um, disappointment. So if they broke your trust in any way and disappointed you, pile three they want to know if you could ever trust them again so this person has a lot of questions for you so you guys may not be talking okay because i've asked a couple questions so far they said do you see yourself having kids they said do you think that you can trust them anymore i thought it was another question maybe i'm wrong i'm sure it's gonna come out whatever you need my baby i got you now listen whatever you need my baby i got you okay now this statement right here is from a player or a hustler and I know this for a fact because I remember when I was channeling <laughs> this person's energy and the fact that this is blue lets me know that this person might be a little bit of a smooth talker going back to that magician also with the my baby that's a term I don't know if this person is from the midwest a lot of people in Detroit in the D say that okay so I don't know if they are from the midwest or again they moving in them areas, my baby it is like a term, okay? So th there is a, a street cat up in here, a hustler, a player up in here. Not even more so a player. This is a street cat or a hustler because the player comes with that, okay? So even if you don't resonate with that and your person is, is someone else, pile three, some of you guys are dealing with that type of cat because they out here, all right? Let me work you out. Do y'all see these messages? Let me work you out. Going to that devil. Didn't they say, come over, let's let a movie watch us? So some of them, pile three, are in the energy of they really want to make love to you with that ace of cups. That's where their mind is. They may not know how you guys are going to work out. They may not know if they're ready to truly open up 
and express their feelings to you verbally, but they definitely want to show you with their body and that could be a love language of theirs. Their love language could be touch where they're not able to verbally say it. That's why they feel that you need a mixtape. They feel that they need to express these things through song and with the use of their body, okay? Before I let you go, I will do everything in my power to keep you. So if you are in the energy of being mad, you guys aren't together, you don't wanna to speak to this person or you just don't know if you could ever trust them again given that they said that and again, this person is nervous. I'm getting chills all over my body again. That statement right there really gives this person great pause because they do not want to lose you in, it, in any uncertain term regardless of how they move, regardless if they are a corporate cat or a street cat, I don't care. They do not want to lose you, okay? I was drawn to this one. Don't leave me attached if the feelings are mutual. Now they just said, before I let you go, I will do anything to keep you, but they're saying, do not leave me attached if the feelings are mutual. Going back to that Four of Cups, going back to that magician, they could be a little emotionally manipulative at this point because they really wanna be with you, pile three. So if your feelings aren't mutual, they really want you to communicate that to them, even if it breaks their heart and could cause a tower moment and leave them sad and disappointed, pile three, because they don't wanna be attached to anyone if the feelings are mutual. And look, I was drawn to, we are not in balance with each other. So I'm getting, this could be an unrequited love, pile three. Someone could be having more emotions and feelings towards the other person, especially if one person is bottled up and they just feel like you guys are out of balance right now things are not going right going back to that five of swords and the devil and they want to restart and get things back on balance with the uh fool we have i have habits you may not be able to handle now didn't i say that with the i don't know if you could hold me going right i'm gonna keep that in the middle between the magician the wheel of fortune and the devil yes this person has some traits some, some ways that they move that you may not condone, you may not accept, or may not like. That could be another reason why this person may bottle up their feelings. They may already know this about you and feel like they don't wanna bring that drama, bring that you know conflict to you. They don't wanna bring anything that's gonna cause you guys to fight or be at, wars with, be at war and odds with each other. And I was just drawn to how there's one sword going down before coming up. So this person could also be fighting and battling with other people about how they feel about you. Again, I said there could be some negative people around them at this time. We have, I write to you all the time. This person could be a writer. Given again, they said you deserve a mixtape, could be a songwriter. This person could be a poet, but this person writes you all the time, meaning, especially if you guys are in no contact and not talking, this person writes you messages all the time to get their feelings out about you because they bottle them up. They just may not send them to you. We have your behavior is frustrating me. <laughs> Going to, you could be mad, but I still love you though. So yes, they still love you. Yes, they probably know you have a right to be mad at them, pile three but it frustrates them because it confuses them going to the mental conflict with that five of swords it makes them feel that they cannot manifest a new beginning with you with the wheel of fortune and the magician which puts them in sadness over here okay with the four of cups which makes them focus on everything that went wrong with those three of cups down there and not focus on what can go right with that cup above the ace of cups really just embracing the love between you two all right we have, don't laugh, I can't get enough of our conversations. Now, didn't I just say something about the messages? So if you ever sent them anything, they read the messages, they love y'all conversations if you guys are talking. This is probably a person who doesn't wanna get off the phone with you or always is messaging you because they love your conversation. And if you guys aren't speaking, they cherish the conversations you guys have had. I was drawn to this one. Don't punish me, all right? so. If this person hurts you in any way, pile three. Yeah, I done did so many piles, I forgot who it was. If this person has hurt you, pile three. They don't want you to be tit for tat. They don't want you to punish them for their wrongdoings. They will acknowledge what they've done wrong to you. They will make amends for what they've done wrong to you if you let them is what I heard. They just don't want to be punished. I heard that People always get me back for the things that I do to them. I have yet to find someone who can just forgive me for what I've done to them 
and not be on get back is what I just heard. I'm telling y'all, somebody dealing with a street cat up in here. Okay, Pop 3? Because I'm telling you, I know that energy. Somebody dealing with a street cat. And they are used to people being on get back. And that really bothers this person. This person really values loyalty, pile three. And honesty, pile three. And people being very transparent about how they feel and how they move, pile three. Even though that this person bottles up their feelings. This person bottles up their feelings, pile three, because they got to know how somebody's moving first before they expose themselves. Boom. And there it is. Now, that was a channel message on top of a channel message. Okay, let's go. All right, this one. I knew, oh, I'm sorry, I knew. What you know? I heard I knew you would be the one is what I heard. Because this says you knew I would come back. Wasn't I talking about that with the fool? Wasn't I talking about that in and out with the um the Wheel of Fortune? So they're saying, you know deep down in your heart already, Pile 3, if this person is gone, that they are going to come back to you. And if they've already come back and you guys have already reconciled, they're saying you already knew because the love is there with the Ace of Cups. And this is also a divine love giving that this is the Ace of Cups. So this could be something that spirit is orchestrating regardless if you understand it or not. Pile 3. We have, I don't want to hide the way I feel about you when you are around me. Didn't I say something about with that five of swords? This person might have to defend how they feel about you to other people. Could be some people in the home giving that's a four. Or some people who could be infringing on their foundation. All right. Negative entities with this devil. They're saying, or they could just have so much passion for you again. You know, they might, I heard they want to jump your bones. Pile three. When they see you, whenever they're around you, they, they just want to give all their love to you. Going back to that song. And I'm hearing in a physical way. My mouth fails me is what I heard. So they can't, they don't get it out their mouth that well, but their body will show you. We have, I was told to get the green one. You, your love is surreal. Now, do you see how I keep like fumbling over my words trying to read these things? So this person may stutter or this person just really may not be the best at verbal communication, but they said your love is surreal. Again, dream, a fantasy, something out of this world. We have, I thought your love would be an illusion. Y'all can't make it up and you see me turn it over. I thought your love was an illusion turned out to be real. And this could be really why they're kicking themselves and being in guilt and sorrow. If they actually really did something that really hurt you, that caused that tower, because a tower is something major. Okay, so whatever you're mad at, it was something major that happened. And they could have done that thinking that you were just running game on them, that you really weren't true, especially if this is a street cat because they're used to women finessing them. And I heard women. So this could be a masculine energy. Or if you are a feminine, you are operating in your masculine energy right now in this reading. Okay, or it could be same sex, but I heard finessing. All right. I got to out talk and out smooth. The smooth talker is what I just heard. Going back to that magician. Last one we have. I have to be rational when it comes to you. The devil. All right. The tower. The ace of cups. Okay. And the magician. This person feels they have to be rational when it comes to you because you just send them over the edge with that devil. They, they are just uncontrolled. When they, when they come around you or when they're in your presence, when they read messages from you, whenever they think of you, I said something about you just rest in that subconscious mind. Whenever they think about you, pile three, you just send them in a tailspin. They, they just feel like they're out of control. And it's very important for this person to control themselves, especially emotionally, especially if they move in that arena that I said. Now, we're going to go ahead and get one more love note from them. This will be the last note. This is just what they want to close out the conversation for uh, or this will be what they want to say to close out the conversation and I'm gonna go ahead and let you go so I hope you enjoyed the reading pile three I hope it resonated with you I hope it gave you clarity of how your person is thinking and feeling and what they want to say and just gave you some ooey gooey vibes and just know pile three this is a spiritual connection I feel this is a divine counterpart to you Pile three, I feel that there is mutual love between the two of you. Very deep love. I feel that you guys are both in love with each other. I feel that you guys both dream of each other. 
and I feel like this person just has some behaviors that they have been operating in way before you ever came into their life and you may be the first person that ever has made them question changing that is what I heard and when I was about to say that y'all it was almost like my mouth got juicy and I had to take a big gulp so even me saying that doesn't even sit well <laughs> with this type of person okay but they love you and they said they'll do anything in their power to keep you before they let it go so they're not giving up on this and if they haven't come back to you yet pile three they're coming back all right it's not over so let's get a final message from your person pile three all right spirit what message best represents pile three's person's final thoughts closing my eyes and i'm gonna grab one message oh I missed that feeling you gave me. I thought I grabbed two. I missed that feeling you gave me. And look, I was drawn to, I'm breaking free from things that are keeping me from you. Look at that there. Was I not just saying that with that devil? Did I not just say that with, they're not going to uh, let you go. They'll do anything in their power to keep you. Absolutely. And they said they missed that feeling you give them. So if you are not um, communicating with this person at all if it's been a long time since you guys have communicated or interacted or maybe you communicate but just haven't been in each other's physical presence and in a way where this person can touch you kiss on you love on you they miss that and they miss the way you make them feel pile three okay so again i hope you enjoyed the reading if it resonated please leave me a comment i love feedback and i will respond if you enjoy kicking it with your girl go ahead hit that thumbs up go ahead and give me a like let's bring some energy loving vibes to the channel help me grow the channel y'all if you enjoy kicking it with your girl go ahead and hit that subscribe button we do this all the time every message or every reading that i put out will be a channeled message reading i am a medium y'all this is what i do okay if you were drawn to another pile go ahead and go over there given we got five today and i will see you there and if you did not know i am a spiritual teacher pile three that's why god named me empress goddess of healing and i have another channel and it's called empress goddess of healing llc and that channel i teach over there so if you are new to spiritual concepts spiritual unions anything who is spirit you know what i'm saying which is god okay then go over to that channel i will leave the link below i teach you about crystals herbs how to speak in universal language i teach you about spiritual concepts i let you know advice from your higher self i tap into the angels i tap into god just like i can tap into your person i tap into the angelic realm over there okay so always know how to move in your life not just in love you should aim to be a supreme being in every area of your life master this thing called life not just your love life okay I enjoyed your company, Pile 3. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. So if you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing. I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new, welcome. Those returning and who have supported your girl. Thank you so much, y'all. Appreciate every like, every comment, every view. If you have joined the loving on that good ish gang, thank you so much for loving on your girl. I truly appreciate every subscriber and thank you so much, you know, just for believing in me and helping me grow the channel. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the button, y'all. It's free. We have a good time over here. I noticed that you guys like the channel messages, y'all. I am a medium. I channel all the time. Every reading on this channel will be a channel message. If it's not listed as a channel message or titled as a channel message, that's because Spirit wanted me to focus on a main topic. And the title is what the main topic of the channel messages will be. If it's just random or free for all like this one, then I'll just put channeled messages. Now your person pile four wanted to make a mixtape for you, okay? So if your person could make a mixtape, I have channeled six songs. These are the six songs that best represent how they feel about you right now. Also, if you did not watch the intro, Spirit had me channel all these love messages two days ago. Spirit gave me the idea to fill this, this love box up with love messages about a year ago, around last summer. 
And two days ago, Spirit said the time was now to go ahead and fill it up. So I sat there. I don't know how many hours I sat there. I don't even know how long it took because, you know, I was in the zone. But I channeled all these love messages for y'all. And I just want y'all to see. Do you see all of these love messages? And do you see how tiny they are? So before we get into the reading, I just want to let you know some of the energies that are in this box. So that you can get an idea just in case a message comes out and it's far off from what your person would say. It's because I'm tapping into many different energies. So there's a player in this box. There's a hustler in this box. There's an innocent soul in this box. There is a sincere soul and this sincere soul is very genuine, very precious, very sweet. There's energies for people looking for love. There's energies of someone who feels bottled up and restricted, kind of stuffy, like might need to loosen their tie a little bit if they are masculine, un un unpin that bun if they are feminine, okay? Energies of people involved in a love triangle. Energies of people who have a broken hearted soul. There are energies of people who are new to love and also energies of people who are either having a spiritual awakening or have just woken up to a spiritual connection. So those are some of the energies represented in this love box that I channeled. Now, before we get into your mixtape, your person did have me channel some messages or spirit had me also for you. Spirit had me channel some messages about what's going on in this union specifically to you pile four but the main message that your person has for you pile four is that you are my i don't know if you guys can see this you are my divine counterpart so your person feels regardless of whatever is happening in the situation between you and them pile four that you are their divine counterpart this is something that they know not something that they think they know and they also feel this the fact that you guys have the stone faith lets me know that either you or them either have faith in the connection or one of you guys' faith could be a little shaky in the connection. And the reason why I said one of you guys could be shaky is because I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little hole in this stone, which means that there, there could have been a, a, a few stones, a few rocks that have come and maybe chipped away at the foundation of this love is the analogy that I just saw in my, or the image that I just saw in my third eye. And could be making one of you guys lack a little faith in this union. And more so, I'm getting lacking faith with the universe, with God, with the divine. Like, are you sure this is my person given you are my divine counterpart. So either your person might be questioning God and spirit, like, is this my person or not? Or they may feel you're questioning it based on how you're interacting with this person. Now, the energy that they are in and towards you is the page of pentacles. So they're in the energy of learning, in the energy of studying you, in the energy of knowing that they want to have something concrete with you, something in the earthly realm giving it the pentacle, but they're not ready to take action at this time. Because there's a page of pentacles, there could be concerns with children right now, and that could be a main concern of theirs, and that could be overshadowing the union with you and them. Also with the page of pentacles, this could mean that this person is really concerned about making sure their finances are stable. This is all this this card is all about building your financial wealth, building your material world. And they could just be in that energy right now. See how this girl's holding that pentacle? Their main focus could be monetary at this moment, but they are trying to have faith in this connection and I'm hearing they hope that you have faith in them as well. If you are waiting on a message from this person, it may take some time for that message to come, given that there is a pentacle and pentacles are slow moving energy. Pentacles are normally in, in time frame, they deal in years. So you could have known this person for a long time, many years, could have been years since you've talked to this person. But overall, because I was just drawn to the sun, this person does have positive thoughts about you. Overall energy is the eight of pentacles with so thankful for you. And that's the energy for all 
five pounds. And all of a sudden, y'all, my stomach just got really like nauseous and queasy. So I don't know if somebody pregnant. I don't I don't know if you pregnant. Or I don't know if this person just really gets like butterflies and uneasy in their stomach when they think of you, but, or somebody could have stomach issues right now, but somebody is, uh, I don't know. I'm just feeling nauseous right now and I don't know why. And I take everything that I feel, everything I hear and all that is all tied in. Cause y'all I'm telling you, I'm tapped in. I am truly a medium and a psychic. I am tapped in 24 seven. Okay. Now bottom of the deck, we have the eight of pentacles. So I'm getting two things with this. I'm getting a couple things with this. Given that you are, they feel you are their divine counterpart, this could be something that takes a lot of work to make happen or to maintain a positive and successful relationship with this person. It may take a lot of work, especially if you're the, their divine counterpart because there could be, you know, entities trying to block this on a spiritual level because you guys could be very powerful together. If they did not put in the work with you, they're wanting to do that now. Otherwise, I'm getting that they could be concerned about work with the Eight of Pentacles, all right? And something definitely has their focus. It could be you, you could be that main pentacle or it could be something else, but something does have their focus because she's focused on that one pentacle and the other seven are just kind of floating around. So before I get into your mixtape, Pile 4, let's get into the things that I channeled when I was preparing for this reading. And I channeled, you could have left them and this could be an ex. So this could be an ex of yours. You could have walked away from them because they weren't giving you what you needed. You could already be in a relationship with someone else. They feel you do not know how much they truly love you and feel that is, and feel you feel this way because of their behavior. Someone could have hurt you in some type of way in this union. So this person could have hurt you or you are afraid of this person hurting you. I'm getting that this person may have hurt you some type of way. They feel your beauty is like no other. They apologize for anything they have done to hurt you or to cause you to have lack of faith in them is what I just heard. And they could have fallen for some temptation that could have caused some disruption in this. This is what I channeled when I was channeling your mixtape, okay? And I feel like Spirit is in this a lot more than your person with the things that I said. So this is the energy surrounding your connection right now. Now, this is the songs that they chose for you, Pile 4. and Pile 4, you guys have seven songs, really six, and a bonus song. And I was kind of leery about the bonus song because the bonus song was like the second song that was channeled when I started channeling yours. But I was like, man, I don't want to say that song. So I, you know, kept channeling, but it was kind of coming out. So I added the song. So only take that pile four if it resonates and trigger warning, okay, for that song. Now, your first song, it says, Let's Stay Together by Blackstreet. And the line that stood out the most to me was, Let's stay together. Let's stay in love. They also said they want to thank heaven above for placing you beside them going back to I'm so thankful so this person feels very thankful for you regardless of what they have done or what has taken place in this union pile four they want you guys to stay in love they don't want you guys to fall out of love because this person is still in love with you regardless if you're still in love with them or not pile four song two beauty by drew hill walks by me every day her and love are the same they said my eyes have seen the glory in the coming of your smile and if you ever came around me again please stay for a while so if you are with this person again they feel you have a beauty that's unmatched by anybody else if you are not with this person 
or don't know that there is someone out there that feels you are a divine counterpart. This is someone you walk past every day or this is someone who who's able to look at you or see you every day, whether it is online or physically in person. They're able to kind of see your day to day and you just and I heard your beauty just strikes them, catches them off guard each time, whether masculine or feminine. Okay. It says their eyes have seen the glory with the coming of your smile. So they feel your smile lights up your face. They feel that your smile could light up a room and heard your smile brings them joy. Song three, I'm sorry by Silk says they have a question. What went wrong? Baby, I was wrong. And then it says, yesterday I sat and wrote these words and tried not to cry. So if this person really did something to lose you, pile four, they have cried over it. They are trying to write something to you right now to express how they feel about you. Remember I said if you are waiting on a message, they're not ready to take action. That could be why they could be in that process of preparing what they want to say to you but they are sorry and they know whatever they did to hurt you they are in the wrong for that they are taking accountability song four the sweetest taboo by Sade if I tell you now will you keep on loving me there's a quiet storm you give me the sweetest taboo that's why I love you so I got a couple things with that if Something did bring their attention away from this union if they were dipping, if they were entertaining a third party. And I mean a third party, meaning another person, not just distracted by work or something. Pile four, I mean another person, and you are aware of this. They're saying that their temptations got the best of them. That was a temptation to them, and they weren't strong enough to resist the temptation. They know that a quiet storm is brewing in between the two of you, whether it's brewing because of that or they feel a quiet storm is brewing between the both of you because they know you are their divine counterpart and they are really feeling a calling to be with you. With you give me the sweetest taboo, that's why I love you, you give them a sensation that they don't get anywhere else regardless if they may have been enticed by temptation or not, pile four. And to you, you are the sweetest taboo. You are a temptation that they love. Song five, So I Can Have You Back by Joe. So for the ones who are broken up and not together, this person secretly wishes, especially if you are with someone new. And I think I said that about you could be in a new relationship when I channeled that. They're hoping that that person messes up. I heard F's up is what I heard. They hope that that person F's up so that they can have you back. And the lines that stood out in that song was, can you hear me when I pray for you? So this person is trying to have faith in the universe. I told you somebody might have been wavering in their faith. They're trying to have faith in the universe that you will come back around to them if you guys are separated. If you guys are together but on shaky ground, they're trying to have faith that that doesn't break you guys up and you fall in the arms of someone else is what I heard. But they pray for you regardless of whatever situation. They pray for you and they hope you hear them. They hope you can feel that they, you know, they hold you in their heart, that they truly care for you. Fear of forever is a door I don't want closed. So again, regardless of whatever's happened, they do not want you guys to end. They don't want there to be a finality to this situation. And it says pictures and pictures of a smile I can't remember. And that's the second time a smile has been mentioned. So they really do find your smile attractive pile for whether you are masculine or feminine. And it says pictures and pictures of a smile I can't, uh, a smile I remember. So if this is an ex, they stared pictures of you guys, whether together or just selfies of yourself. And they really love your smile. Your smile makes them feel better when they are feeling down. Some of you, your smile turns them on is what I heard. If you have never been with this person, if there's a way for this person to get pictures of you, whether social media, whether you sent them, what have you, this person enjoys looking at your pictures and they enjoy it when you smile. Song six, you don't know by tank. So, uh, and the uh, lines that stood out was, if only you knew how much I do love you. So you may not even know how this person truly feels about you. You may not even know, Pile 4, that this person feels you are a divine counterpart to them. It says, 
a players will ache for that straight up now didn't i say or channel something just a minute ago they don't want nobody else to get you in their arms or something they know that you are a catch pile for they know it says a players will ache for that straight up meaning they know that anybody else whether masculine or feminine you know would crave would would be so excited and ecstatic to have you and this is why they don't want to lose you they said is it love or lust i can't say though they said right now I want to be where my pockets grow. Didn't I say somebody was focused on money? So they're not sure for some of them who are lacking faith in the universe that you're their divine counterpart is not sure if it's love or if it's lust. If these feelings that they have for you are just sexual desires or is it more than that? Especially if this person is just used to having sexual chemical relationships with people and they said they want to be where their money grows and I got two things from that one again they're just focused on work and you know building up their material success and material world at this time or they feel that you are a person they can build wealth with they feel that you are prosperous that you are successful in your own right and they want to be with you because they know not only are they successful in their own right or that's their focus that you guys share that commonality that you guys have the same vision and goal to build wealth all right to build longevity now here's the trigger warning pile four and you know i'm kind of irritated even having to read this and you're gonna see why in a minute the bonus song is, I got to like pop on that because you know that my eyes just roll. This is why I don't be in the camera like that, y'all, because if y'all saw the faces I made, mm. anyway, I've been kicking it with your girlfriend by R. Kelly. Okay. So, pile four. If this resonates with you, if you've had an inkling that your person is messing around with a friend of yours, whether masculine or feminine, watching, okay, or whatever they are, okay, your person. They're saying for some of you, if only if you resonate, this is special for only if you resonate. They're saying what you're feeling is true. They have been kicking it with a friend of yours. And the lines that stood out was, I've been kicking it with your girlfriend. So specifically, if you are a feminine watching and you are dealing with the masculine and this is resonating or you had an inclination, they are admitting that. This is what they are apologizing for. This could have been why you left them if this is an ex and you are now with someone else and this is why they're wishing and hoping that person will mess up so that they can have another chance with you they said girl my fault for that don't know where my mind was at now that gives me the player and the hustler that's in this <laughs> in this box so if you're dealing with a cat like that again they let temptation get the best of them they knew that it was wrong they knew that it would hurt you but I'm getting that this person was caring about their own needs at the time and also may not have realized how bad that was going to hurt you if they did do that. And it could have been their own fears and phobias about relationships that caused them to do that in the first place. All right. Next line. Now I apologize for me and her and everything that went down. So they apologize for being with your friend. If your friend hasn't apologized to you, they're apologizing to you on their behalf and everything that you have endured, everything you found out, everything you heard or what have you, they are sorry for that and sorry for hurting you. And then the last line is believe. I really did try to keep that girl away from me. So again, you take it if it's masculine or feminine, you know, this is a man speaking of a woman, but they're saying they really did try to resist the temptation. So you could have had somebody in your friend circle that was really pursuing your person and really just throwing that thing at them, whether masculine or feminine. And then at some point, they just couldn't stand their ground anymore. At some point, they lost faith. Remember, I said it was like a little hole, you know, in this stone. Somewhere they lost faith in this connection and was able to fall for that temptation if that part, if that bonus song resonates for you. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the love messages box. And we are just going to see what your person wishes to communicate to you right now. How are they feeling and thinking about you at this present moment? So I'm going to shake this up. I don't know how loud this box is. So just brace yourself real quick. <laughs> All right, spirit. I, I, I was told to shuffle one more time. Y'all the first power has to shuffle twice. Okay. Or was told to shuffle twice. Spirit, can you give me, and I'm just going to grab a handful, y'all. Spirit, can you give me some messages that 
best represents how pile force person is feeling and thinking about them at this present moment and what they wish to communicate. I was told to shuffle one more time. You give it a good shuffle. Good gosh. Three times pile four. Okay. I'm closing my eyes and I'm just going to grab. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot. Your person got a lot to say. Okay. Let me grab that. Oh, that fell on the floor and I'll grab that. Okay. I was told to grab this too. It wouldn't let me put it back in. Okay, hold on. Power for y'all the first time I got to bend down. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see me that way. Hi. <laughs> okay, let me put my mic back on. Okay, so since this fell off the floor, and what I was going to do is from this pile, I'm going to pick three messages and lay them out. And then I'm going to get Tarot to explain those messages and what they further want to communicate. And then we're just going to go through the rest of the messages of what they want to say. So the one that fell on the floor was, I see your potential going with that page of pentacles again i said somebody could be studying you could be really trying to learn about the spiritual connection since they feel you are their divine counterpart could be trying to learn about spirit soulmates twin flames if you resonate with those titles okay but they say they see your potential they feel that you would be a great love for them maybe trying to figure out if they can be that great love for you okay so let's see what the other two will be all right, we have, you make me want to touch myself. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, pile four. This person is letting you know that they are extremely attracted to you, extremely turned on by you when they see you. Didn't they say that they were looking at your pictures and stuff and they enjoyed your smile? Didn't I say something about somebody's smile, turn them on? Okay, so this person touches themselves to you when they look at your pictures and just the thought of you you know gives them a little feeling downstairs okay and let's get one more all right we have i want to i want to wear you down and what i heard in my head was i want to wear you out is what i heard that's why i paused <laughs> real quick and this ain't no 18 plus but power four they said i want to wear you down so this person is with that page of pentacles. I said the page of pentacles takes their time. This person doesn't mind taking their time and doesn't mind taking things slow with you, pile four, because they're saying they're going to wear you down at some point. At some point, you are going to be theirs if you are not theirs. If you are mad at this person right now because you guys aren't together, especially if you resonate with that song, Kicking It With Your Friend. They're saying they're going to wear you down. They don't care about none of that. They don't want to let you go. Again, they hoping if you with somebody, y'all break up so they can get another shot. So regardless if you want to be with this person or not, pile four, they are strategically trying to wear you down, which brought me right back to that page of pentacles. That's why they studying that behind. They trying to figure out how to wear you down. Look at that there. Mm, mm, mm. Clear the energy of this deck. All right, spirit. Can I get one card that, best represents the energy of the statement i see your potential from pile four's person look at that that couldn't shuffle the ten of swords with the knight of swords okay so this person sees your potential with that knight of swords they want to rush towards you if they are not with you they want to it's almost like an emergency. They really want to communicate the stuff to you. They could have been in an energy where they didn't really think that they, they took action or they may have said certain things without really caring about your feelings, especially going back to the song about, you know, kicking it with your girlfriend. With the Ten of Swords, that could have been that painful ending that happened if they were messing with a friend of yours. If they were messing with a friend of yours, that stabbed them in the back somehow they got betrayed because they betrayed you pile four if you resonate with that if not whatever ending that you guys have had whatever type of separation it has caused them to see your potential and they now see you in a new light they may now have faith in the union now pile four and truly believe you are a divine counterpart to them also, I get that they have a lot of thoughts about you because this could be like an obsessive overthinking card and that has brought them to knowing that they can see your full potential. With the Knight of Swords, 
this person could be in an uh, not necessarily an immature energy, but not in the king energy yet, whether masculine or feminine, not in that dependable, solid, mature energy. Still could be trying to find their way, given we had the page as well. Still learning new things, especially if this is a spiritual connection and they've just had a lot of thoughts about you because that's all swords that's nothing but the mind okay you could also be dealing with an air sign an aquarius gemini or libra spirit clear the energy of this deck you make me want to touch myself spirit can i get a card that best represent y'all your person be ready the energy of that statement we have the magician look at that dear <laughs> in the star <laughs> Bottom of the deck and the lovers, I cannot. And them is three major arcanas. Oh my gosh, pile four. Listen, that sexual uh, chemistry and that pull that they feel for you, pile four, is off the chain. This person can't keep their hands off of themselves when it comes to you, pile four. They are trying to manifest you in their life. They want you back. Seriously, if you guys are not together, pile four with the star. There's just this magnetic intensity is what I'm getting from the star. Also, that they would love to invoke sexual healing when it comes to you guys. Very lustful with the lover's card. Ready to make a choice with you with the lover's card. Also, with that lover's card, they could have chosen things that gave them instant gratification, i.e., some of those songs. However, maybe deciding to change course now and trying to do something new with the page of pentacles they could have also been in a very selfish energy with that star and in a manipulative energy and may want to change that now the lovers is all about being vulnerable and being completely naked with your counterpart again they said that you were their divine counterpart so they do feel you are a soulmate so they could be ready now do you see how these flamingos faces are touching or beaks are touching they could be ready now to fully be vulnerable with you and express how they feel and also you guys could have a telepathic communication because their heads are together and i just noticed that their heads are together forming a heart so i feel like you guys have telepathic communications expressing the things that are in your heart for each other clear the energy of this deck with the statement i want to wear you down spirit can i get a card that best represents the energy of pile force person when they made that statement and we have the Princess of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Absolutely. Again, did I tell you they're going to study you? Absolutely. This person is watching you. They could be watching your social media if they can. If not, they are trying to study you or they're remembering how you are. And any interaction that you guys have together, they are making notes. They are paying attention to that because they are standing their ground. They know that they are on their last leg with that nine of wands. You probably have given this person any chances and they're saying they're not backing down. Again, with I'm going to wear you down, they are going to persevere. They know that it's going to be challenging. They don't care. They do not want to give up on you. And I just noticed that the page of swords and the nine of wands, almost like they have their back towards each other. So what I'm getting is you may not even know. To your eyes, it may look like they not doing nothing, that they ain't trying to really hold on to this. But in the background, they are because I see all that light. You see that light on that sword like going towards the nine of wands. So in the background, they are. This person could just be moving in silence. Look, three of cups definitely was a third party involved for those who resonate with that song because we had the three of cups definitely want to reconcile regardless if there was a third party or not if you guys are not together and if you guys are coming back into union or just realize that you guys are divine counterparts and all of this stuff i'm speaking of could have been of an ex or someone else outside of this union they are ready to celebrate the love you activate this person's heart chakra we've got two hearts here you are a star in their life okay and you bring them great joy all right and the three cup also represents friends and family so if there was a, a person dipping it was a friend or a family member all right so now let's go ahead and get into your messages and y'all i guess y'all have a lot of y'all y'all don't seem like y'all got that many messages so if it's not enough you know i'll get some more but this is what we have and this one stood out first so we have you caused me to have lots of naughty 
thoughts. This person desires you, pile four. This person wants to get down, okay? Because they are saying they desire you. Now listen, pile four, y'all know like, I don't mind doing the day 18 plus nasty reach. I got decks upon decks. Spirit had me create them decks too. And I got message decks too. So, you know, because this person is a little sexual. This ain't 18 plus. But if y'all, you know, want them type of reads too. You know, I'm trying to learn my collective. I don't know, you know, how y'all is. If that going to offend somebody or not. But at some point, I'm going to do them. Because, you know, I like to know that information. Just just me. So, you know, drop a comment. Just put a thumbs up, down, you know, whatever. And let me know. And, you know, I'll go ahead and get that out for y'all, okay? We have, I longed for love and I manifested you. I longed for love and I manifested you. Do we not have the magician with the world in their hand? Absolutely manifested you. Don't write me off. Ten of swords, I see your potential. They don't want you to write them off. They do not want an ending. Regardless of how they have behaved, they're saying don't let that behavior be your final thought, your final perception of them. I want to take care of you. Absolutely wants to take care of you. I'm gonna put that right with the lovers, the three of cups and under here. This is why they're learning you. This is why they're trying to persevere. They do want to take care of you. Also, while they're building up that wealth, that money with the page of pentacles. You confuse me, all right? This is going with that Knight of Swords and that Ten of Wands. It could be a push-pull going with that too. You could, at one minute, want to be with them and communicate to them and then they're ready to rush in and then you might change your mind or they change your mind and then it causes a painful ending. That could be that as well. And if so, then there just needs to be some healing going on there. I had so many sleep... I've had so many sleepless nights over you absolutely with that ten of swords yes because you're running through their mind all the time they're trying to figure out how to keep this this union with you they're trying to figure out how to stand their ground they're trying to figure out how to keep all the competition and all them people away from you this is them with that wine and all these little wines in behind is everybody who wants you or or potentially could be with you because they messed up and they don't want that you got me hooked on that feeling you give me. Absolutely. I'm getting there. If you were ever with this person sexually, definitely that. They definitely enjoy that. Okay. And if not, just the way that you made them feel, the love that you gave them, the conversation that you gave them, your presence, how you carry yourself, just whatever they felt from you, pile four, they love it. All right. I want to go deep with you, absolutely. And I'm getting two things with that too, given that that's orange and sexually, you know, emotionally, yes. But they definitely want to go deep with this love. They want you guys to explore every facet of this love is what I just heard. Going back to you are my divine counterpart in the page of Pentacles. We have, I like it when you stand up for yourself. Absolutely, I see your potential. Absolutely so. If you did walk away because they did something that you did not like or you guys broke up for whatever reason and you stood up for yourself, they love that. That could be why they feel you are a divine counterpart as well. Maybe they aren't used to people who stand up for themselves, pile four, and you showed them, oh, and I got moxie, oh, I, yeah, I'm pile four, you, you better get it together, okay? Come on through, pile four. All right, we have, you bring all my fears to the surface, absolutely, and I'm putting that on the Princess of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yes, you do bring their fear to the surface. They could have felt like they needed to be on guard, okay? And maybe they could have been in a manipulative energy trying to wear you down in the wrong way, all right? Also, uh, that brings me to the Ten of Swords and the Page of Pentacles with faith. So you bring up insecurities in them. You bring up Fears of will they repeat bad behaviors with you that they may have done in past relationships? Will they repeat the same mistake that they made already with you if they've already made a mistake, especially if it was with a friend? Will they repeat that if you give them another chance? This could be a fear of theirs also. Also, this person is really blocked in their throat chakra because I'm feeling like my throat chakra wants to close up. And I think it was your pal and I forgot the other pal. I want to say pal two or three any other power i was fine i ain't got the power five yet but so far you know okay <laughs> i'm trying to find a balance between the physical and the spiritual y'all i think i 
said that. Okay, again, with the Page of Pentacles, absolutely. They are trying to find a balance. I'm getting this person may have just awoken to that you are their divine counterpart or spiritual concepts or definitions and concepts of twin flames or soulmates, okay? And they are really trying to balance their life. I think that this person is more 3D based. This person is more grounded in the physical world and is now trying to learn how to operate in that spiritual world as well. It causes them great conflict is what I heard and makes their faith shaky is what I heard. Not only with you, Pile 4, but just the things that they have experienced and learned in life in a whole. I'm getting this person might be ascending and going through like a dark night of the soul. Sometimes we feel things that are not true. What I'm getting is that whatever that temptation was, it did you, was y'all the one that had that sweetest taboo? Yeah, whatever that sweetest taboo was, that one you power for? Yeah, they was like, yeah, that was that was some fugazi stuff is what I heard. <laughs> Not fugazi. They said that was some fugazi stuff, okay? They was like, that was an illusion. That was not what it was. They were duped. They feel foolish. And they are now realizing that you are the one that was true is what I heard. Come on through. You can depend on me. So if you couldn't depend on them now, that's what they're working hard to show you. With the Eight of Pentacles and that Nine of Wands, you can depend on them and they're going to make sure if they come back into your life that you can depend on them. If you are with this person and again, it's just shaky due to whatever happens, that's what they are working on right now. So if you don't see any action, if you don't see any forward movement, if you feel like they're not doing anything, I told you, they're watching you. They're trying to learn how to love you properly. They are persevering right now. They could be in a defensive energy if you are coming at them like, hey, you done messed up and you ain't even doing nothing. It could be getting them on guard because you just don't know that they are. They are still learning. And the fact that we have two pages and a knight, and you see I don't have no kings or queens on the board. This person is just a little immature when it comes to love. They haven't got to that level of maturity yet to handle themselves properly, especially if you are a divine counterpart. You guys both could be learning new things with the divine counterpart situation or union because that is something totally different than a regular relationship between a between two people, okay? Let's rebuild this love. Absolutely. Then they say with that song with Joe, they want that person to mess up if you with somebody so they can have you back. They saying, let's rebuild this love. Then I say reconciliation with the three of cups and the lovers. So regardless if you just single or not, if y'all ain't together, they trying to rebuild. If you are together, that is their energy. They are trying to rebuild it. Give them some time. So if they've messed up and you have decided to stay, no, you made that conscious decision to stay. Don't beat this person up over the head all the time. That ten of swords, giving them high anxiety, confusing them if they should move forward with you, if they should not move forward with you. Give them time to try to make this right if you want to be with this person. Don't just be with them on a get back or to make them suffer. Pile four. I don't know who that's for, but that's for somebody. And that's spirit saying that, okay? We have certain things I just couldn't tell you. And I'm getting that, especially if it resonates with them songs and the friend or just any type of dipping. They're saying they wanted to tell you. They really wanted to be honest. They didn't want to betray you. They didn't want to do things behind your back, but they knew you couldn't handle that information. And they knew they probably would lose you if they told you that information. So if they kept anything from you and you found out about something and they should have told you, that's why they didn't. And the fact that that is blue, their intuition was telling them to tell you and they decided to keep it as a secret, okay? We have, what are you waiting for? True love is staring back at you. Two things with that, either you feel that way, you know this is your divine counterpart, you know that you are their true love and you're wondering why they keep on pussyfooting around, why they keep on wasting time entertaining other people, not really getting on the right path with you trying to put in the necessary work going to that eight of pentacles to make sure that you and uh, this person will work out, okay? Or it could be that they feel that you don't realize despite what they have done, that they are still your true love and to get past whatever hurt has happened in this union if there has been hurt because 
they feel they are again your soulmate your divine counterpart and if you guys haven't had anything and you're just now coming into union or just now meeting okay and again these energies could be of what you guys both may have experienced in the past in the past in the past okay you guys okay for the ones who haven't experienced any of this stuff and may have just come together with this person or this is the energy that's coming into your life if you are single your paths are about to cross because paths came to my mind so your paths are about to cross and if you are separated and again it had nothing to do with you in, in regards to infidelity and all these energies I'm picking up with that one song is from past your paths are about to cross again and spirit is saying that Okay. And they're going to feel like either you're going to feel or they're going to feel when your paths do cross. What are you waiting for? True love. One of you guys are going to know off rip that the other person is your counterpart and it's true love. That's what I got off that. Okay. Listen to your intuition. All right. And then the last one is I wish to reconnect with you. I can't make that up. I think I'm going to say that three times. So if you guys aren't speaking, are in a separation, they want to reconnect with you. If you guys are together, married in the same home, but there have been some issues, you might not be speaking to each other in a very loving way or things are stagnant. Again, going back to whatever spirit was saying about don't beat the person over the head, they're working on it. They want to reconnect. Okay. So we are going to get one final message from your person pile four of just what they wish to say as their final overall thoughts. I'm going to shake this up one more time and I'm going to pull one message and then we are done, pile four. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the reading. All right, Spirit, what final thought is most beneficial for pile four that best displays the final message pile four's person would like to convey to them? I am closing my eyes and I am choosing. Uh, you got two. You're the first pile to get two. We have, I know... There is a deeper purpose for me and you. Y'all saw it. It says, I know there is a deeper purpose for me and you. The lovers, okay? Faith, okay? You are my divine counterpart. Absolutely. And again, if this is your divine counterpart and there have been some things going on in this union that have really rocked you, it was purposeful. God orchestrated that to help you guys grow. Also, if this is a twin flame union, a lot of the twin flames will experience a karmic energy coming in, whether on the feminine side or the masculine side, that may pull your person away from you. So if you are in that type of union, that could explain some of those songs also. And it says, there are things about me you don't know. So they could be holding a little shame, a little guilt about some of their actions. Then it say something about certain things I just can't tell you so there are some things you still don't know about this person i instantly got chills y'all so this person is very nervous about exposing themselves to you they feel that once they expose this to you your heart is going to turn cold to them because i got extremely cold cold like in my bones cold they are very terrified of explaining and exposing certain things to you they will do this over time with the page of pentacles but they just have to make sure that it's safe to do so okay i have told to get one more and i'm being drawn to this you and me equal synergy there's definitely a divine counterpart situation here this is a soulmate or a twin flame of yours if you resonate with that or this is someone that god has orchestrated for you and they do not want to be out in the cold with you pile four because again i am still extremely cold i heard brings me to tears to think i would be out in the cold with you forever is what i heard and that's the sincere soul i told you it's a sincere soul over here okay so pile four if it resonated if you enjoyed the reading and kicking it with your girl drop me a comment okay if y'all want the you know them little special readings them little nasty readings yeah put put emoji something down up in the comments okay i will hook y'all up i'm gonna do it at some point anyway but if y'all like it you know I'm, i'll make it a little sooner than later all right if you enjoy kicking it with your girl go ahead and give me a thumbs up hit the like button let's help grow the channel go ahead and join i would love to have you you see we have a good time over here i give you thorough readings over here if you were drawn to another pile 
go over there and I will see you there. If you did not know, I am a spiritual teacher. That's why God named me Empress Goddess of Healing. I did not make that name up. It was given to me. I have another channel. I will leave the link below. If you are new to spiritual concepts, if you are new to divine counterparts, if you just realizing you are a twin or in a high level soulmate connection, want to know anything about chakras, crystals, herbs, learning universal language, spiritual concepts, advice from your higher self, advice from the angels, numerology, astrology, I could go on and on and on. Anything dealing with the spiritual realm, your girl got you. Go over to that channel, watch some of those videos too. I would love to have you as one of my divine being gang members over there. Just like I channel your person over here, y'all, I channel the angelic and spiritual realm in the universe, ascending masters over there. Always know how to move in every area of your life, not just love. I can help you in every area of your life, okay? But if you wanna just kick it with me here, no pressure, love. Stay on over here on the love channel. I just wanted to put that out there, okay? So enjoy the rest of your day, pile four. I enjoyed you. Peace, love, and light. Hey, hey, pile five. Welcome to your reading. So if you did not watch the intro, my name is Empress Goddess of Healing, and I am so happy the universe allowed us to cross paths today. Those that are new to the channel, welcome. Those returning, thank you so much for loving on your girl. I appreciate every comment, every like, and every view. If you have subscribed to the channel and you joined the love and all that good-ish gang, I appreciate every subscriber. I see the numbers going up. Thank y'all so much. And if you have not subscribed, y'all, go ahead and hit the button. It's free. We have a good time over here, y'all. I am a medium. I am a channeler. Every reading is going to have a channel message. I noticed that you guys like the channel messages. If it doesn't say channel message in the title, that's because Spirit wanted me to give it a specific name, but I am a medium. Every reading is a channel message. Every reading has messages from your person. That reading is just specific to the energies of that title, if that makes sense, okay? Also, I mentioned in the intro that Spirit had me channel messages the other day two days ago and fill this box up spirit gave me that idea in the summertime last year to make a box of love so this is what this is and it has a ton y'all when i say a ton i don't know how many hours i sat down just channeling and writing free writing all these little messages and you see how small the little paper is so I'm going to get into that in a minute, but basically this reading is channel love messages from your person, how they are currently feeling and thinking about you right now, what they want to say to you, Pile 5, and I thought it would be dope to make you a little mixtape. So your person has channeled six songs for you, and I have a little mixtape for you that I will leave in the description box. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and see what the energy is surrounding your person and how they feel about you. And their love note to you is, Love means more than money. So I'm getting a couple things with that pile five. One, you could be dealing with a person who only cared about money, who only who's only concerned was what they could gain materially, what people could do for them, their status, how they looked on the outside world. And they may now be realizing that love means more than money especially given that you have the stone of love, okay? Other energy is this person could feel that you are only after them for their money or what they can bring you or their status and they're really trying to see, is this true love or are you just here for, are you just with them for what they can give you given we have the nine of pentacles. The other thing is that this person with the nine of pentacles could just be a little bit overindulgent in just the pleasures and satisfactions of life and may not be devoting all of their energy to you right now with the nine of pentacles. The other energy with the nine of pentacles is that this person is completely satisfied with you. You satisfy them on every level. They feel you are a wish fulfillment pile four. So those are the four energies. Oh, and before I get into your mixtape, I wanted to 
give you some of the energies that are in this love box so when I pull the messages, if some don't resonate, you can understand why certain messages may not fit, given that I'm, I'm a channeler, you know, I'm a medium, and I tap into many different energies. There are a lot of different energies in this box. So some of them are a, a player, a hustler, someone who's an innocent soul, someone who is a sincere soul. And I've said this in every pile, that sincere soul is truly sincere. They say things from the heart, truly a gentle spirit, okay? Energies for those looking for love, energies of someone very restricted and buttoned up. I almost felt like when I was writing their messages, they need to like loosen their tie or like unpin their hair, okay? Um, energies of those involved in a love triangle, energies of a broken hearted soul, energies of someone that is new to love and energies of someone going through a spiritual awakening or just woke up to a or know they're in a spiritual connection so those are some of the energies not all but some of the energies in this love box okay so that's why i give you those different scenarios of what the energy could be around the person because i'm tapping into a lot of people but as far as you regardless of if they feel you're out for money with them or that their only concern is money and pentacles you satisfy them so overall you satisfy them pile five now the overall energy is for all five piles was the eight of pentacles with so thankful for you so regardless of whatever qualms or whatever thoughts they may be having of you right now pile five they are very thankful for you and they feel that either you are worth them putting in the work, you are worth them working hard so that they can spoil you if they are in that energy of wanting to spoil you, meaning that your love is so priceless to them, they may have only just cared about money and your love surpasses that, that they want to give you the world. That could be with the nine of pentacles and the love card or they're only focused on right now like career, things that they are ambitious about, things that help them feel stable in their physical world, all right? And you could be in the energy that love is more than money, meaning you are focusing way too much on financial concerns and not enough on me, is what I just heard, come on through. Okay, so before I get into the mixtape, I did channel some things. And this one, you pile five, with pile four and pile three, I dealt with a little dipping. Okay, so I know that they meant that may not resonate with everybody, but if you are with the person that you know has been unfaithful, if you are unfaithful or y'all just got, you know, a situation where y'all might, you know, play around, you if you were drawn to three or four or were battling between those, you may want to check those out as well because I noticed that as I'm going on, there, there's been a theme coming through. Okay, so this could be messages from either spirit or your person because I did notice that as well that spirit kind of jumped in when there was like other parties involved so right now you guys could be in the energy of inner separation or if you're together you guys may be going through a rough patch there could be a third party given work or something dis distracting them from you pile five or somebody's dipping somebody is entertaining another party now pile five trigger warning if you resonate with that, someone is entertaining another party. And I'm telling you that. So if you felt that somebody might have been dipping, I'm telling you that they're dipping. And the person who's dipping, whether it is you or them and you resonate with that, because not everybody cheats, both parties are aware. What I mean by that, if you feel your partner is seeing someone else, that person they are seeing knows about you. If you are seeing someone else then you have discussed with the person you are seeing that you are already with someone and both parties know that it's wrong and both parties are aware that y'all both might be cheating on somebody okay so just take it wherever it resonates so it doesn't get confusing but both parties are aware that it's wrong but feel like it's too good to stop and are not in the energy of stopping it regardless of who gets hurt right now Pay attention to that 
pile five for whoever that resonates, okay? Um, but somebody wants to fight for the connection. So I don't know if it, you're in the energy where you wanna fight for the connection or the person that's on your mind that you came to this reading for wants to fight for the connection. And remember, all of my readings are timeless and there's five piles, so this could represent an X. This could represent somebody you're with. This could be somebody you crushing on. So it doesn't necessarily have to be your main person. So you just take it where it resonates. I think I said that in the intro if you didn't watch the intro. Also, this person feels like everyone is human and makes mistakes. So if they did do something to hurt you, they want you to, or this could be your energy, they want you to recognize people make mistakes and nobody is perfect. So let's go ahead and get into the mixtape. We got six songs. The first song that was channeled for you guys was Trust and Believe by Keisha Cole. Lines that stood out as you push me far, you brought me to this, and you look so foolish with my best friend. Now, pile five, pile four. One of the songs was talking about a friend. So if you know for a fact that you have somebody or dating somebody who has messed with your friend or you messing with somebody friend or there's some somehow a friend is involved in a love triangle situation you may want to check out pile four that's specific to those who know that situation okay or or in that situation but the person said you pushed me far you brought me to this so that could be your energy if they did choose money or something else over you and it's like you know you didn't want me when you had me so now I need to go somewhere where I will be valued is what I heard you look so foolish with my best friend if you caught this person cheating on you with their best with your best friend or vice versa they could feel foolish or you feel foolish okay because I'm getting with you pile five I don't I'm, I'm not sure whose energy is what I feel like y'all energies are are enmeshed a little bit or both of you guys could have done things to each other may have been on a little tit for tat all right with the second song every time I close my eyes by babyface I have the lines girl it's been a long time coming so if you have left this person you've been separated from this person for a while there's been no contact that that best friend and all of that other stuff happened outside of you and it wasn't particularly to you but you know of a situation or you know this is what your person is going through they're saying it's been a long time coming meaning you guys have been apart too long if you guys are reconciling they're saying it was a long time coming for this and if you haven't they want to reconcile with you this says every time i close my eyes i thank the lord i got you and you got me too so regardless of what's happening in the situation they are thankful going back to so thankful for you they are very thankful for you pile five that god blessed them with you they thank the lord they said i got you and you got me and they feel that you can depend on them too and if you are with this person because they are financially stable and they are trying to offer you love but the only thing you are concerned about are their finances pile four they want you to know that you got them more than just finances they said you got me too you have them emotionally you have them spiritually you have them physically as well as financially Okay, so, and if you are just with somebody for that, don't miss all those other qualities they're trying to offer you because you are more concerned with the status and the material world. Otherwise, you embody all of those qualities that mean more to them, again, than money, like I said, and they are truly thankful and appreciative of that. Song three, Me and Mrs. Jones by Billy Paul. Now, this is a very old song, so you could be dealing with an old cat. You could be dealing with a very mature person. You could be dealing with a person who's married. Uh, they could be dealing with a person who's married. But Me and Mrs. Jones is about someone sleeping or having an affair with someone who's already in a committed union. The lines that stood out, Me and Mrs. Jones, we got a thing going on. So if you thought your person was dipping or had any, you know, intuition or any nudging and you resonate, they're saying, yes, I got a thing going on with somebody else. It says, we both know it's wrong. Like I said in that thing, and it says the same place and same time. So this person 
interact with this person at the same place in the same time. So they have a routine. This is something that's been going on for a while. They have a spot that they meet up at. Okay. So I don't know who needs to, to know that, but it, I, I see a, a private investigator in my third eye. If that's what you about to be on, Power Five, they meet at the same place at the same time. Okay? So get the ducks in the doggone row if that's 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 what you on. All right. Number four. Song number four, You Changed by Keisha Cole. All right. And this song is all about a person changing once they got money. How synchronistic is that with love means more than money? The lines that stood out is I used to think I wasn't fine enough. And I used to think I wasn't wild enough, but I won't waste time trying to figure out why you playing games. Okay, now, Pile 5, I think that's your energy. All right, I think that's how you are feeling about your person. And if that is the case, they apologize for making you feel insecure because it says, I don't feel I was fine enough. And, or if they made you feel that you weren't wild enough, that you didn't satisfy them on every level. Because I told you with this nine of pentacles, you definitely do. If the shoe is reversed and you are a person that's only with this person for the money. And that's why they're saying love means more than money. And I think that's only for a small few. They are saying you made them feel like they weren't fine enough. That they weren't wild enough for you. That they couldn't give you anything except their finances and they're no longer feeling that way or going to allow your actions to make them feel that way is what I heard and they're now standing up for themselves and they're just not going to worry about what games you are playing here okay so again the energy is kind of mixed in this I don't know if this is a group where you done been with this person and y'all done broke up and then been together again or it's just been a lot of ups and downs or this person just had a lot of instability in relationships in the past or you but that's the energy that I pick up and you're the only pile where the energy is in enmeshed. Everybody else, it was separate. I knew exactly who was who, but with you, pile five is different. And I keep being drawn to my clock. I have seen 1554, I have seen 1555, and now I'm seeing 16. So definitely a devil energy and the tower energy. So it could be some toxic traits going on in this union. It could be a lot of temptation in this union. It could be feeling like you are bound and stuck to somebody you may not want to be with. Could have been something that rocked your foundation and came out out the blue. Definitely some uncertainty and some major energy in this pile. Number five, song is Stay and Fight by Tamar. We could throw out the pictures and throw our dreams away too. So they're saying, yeah, we could let this go. Yes, we could let whatever's coming here and mess us up or cause us to have friction if we're still together, just cause us to be in disharmony and discord. We can throw out all the pictures, all of our memories, or we can rethink that and see if we really want to fight. Because the next line says, but I want to stay and fight for you. Fight like hell before I give up. So one or both of you, regardless of what has happened, wants to fight for this. They want to fight for the love. Number six, Ordinary People by John Legend. I know I have misbehaved and you've made mistakes. Didn't I say, didn't I say, cause y'all I do this at different times. Did I not say, I felt like both of y'all energies was intertwined. Okay, so they're saying, yes, I misbehaved. You may have caught me doing some things that, you know, you don't like, but, but you have made mistakes too, whether it was in this union or in your past. We are human. We are ordinary people. Accept me flaws and all is what I heard. Maybe we should take things slow. Pentacles is all about slow moving energy. Pentacles are in timing is like years. Okay. So they don't want to rush this. Even if they have ultimate satisfaction with you, even if you see ultimate satisfaction with them, you know that you guys would have great stability. I feel like you guys both still care about your independence and want to make sure that neither one of you loses your independence with each other. And that goes right back into Love means more than money. Maybe you both were concerned about material aspects only because that's where you found your security. That's how you knew you could keep your freedom and your independence and maybe didn't really involve yourselves in relationships that were strictly based off love and emotion. It says, no fairy tale conclusion, y'all. It gets more confusing every day. So right now, you guys aren't living the fairy tale, pile five. Right now, things could feel like they aren't going the way that you want. 
things could be very confusing. It says things get confusing every day. But regardless of that, if you guys can get past the mistakes, if you guys can get past whatever misbehavior that has happened, you guys can find love. You guys can have love because you have the nine of pentacles with love. Don't be too concerned about your material world and money and things that give you pleasure outside of yourself. Sit in your emotions and really decide if this is the person you want to be with and let love shine forth is what I heard. Just saw my clock 19 and the 18. That's the sun and the moon. Balancing the light and the dark. Balancing that masculine energy with that feminine energy. Okay, bringing that positivity in. Letting go of things that are hidden. Illusions, secrets. Okay, 34. Angelic guidance. This must be a spiritual con connection or something. Because I don't know why I'm being drawn to angel numbers. And y'all the only one that I have been drawn to with angel numbers. But let's go ahead and get into the box. So I'm going to go ahead and shake it up, y'all. And I don't know if it's loud. Because I ain't watching none of these readings yet. So let me shake it up and I'm going to grab a handful of messages. And then I'm going to pull three to get the overall energies of what they wish to communicate to you most. I'll get some tarot on that. One card each. And let's more come out. And then we're just going to read the messages and I'll get you out of here. Okay. All right, spirit. Can you give me a handful of love messages that most represent how Pile Five's person is feeling and thinking about them right now at this moment and what they wish to communicate to them. I was told shuffle again. You the second pile. I was told to shuffle again and I heard move out the top and get in the middle. Look at that deer. Okay. Whoa. That's a lot. Okay. And this one just stick out. Okay. Let's see. Since that wanted to stick out, Pile Five, we'll use this as the first one. Your intuition be on point. Scary. No, it says your intuition be on point. You scary sometimes. <laughs> okay. So pile five, you may have, you know, psychic abilities. You may just have a, a gut feeling and an intuition that's on point And you know when this person is up to something. And so that kind of makes them a little bit uneasy. Okay. And given that this is light purple, keeps them in their head with that crown chakra. Next statement, another crown chakra thoughts. We have, I will always tell you the truth. So if you have any questions, if you want to know anything, this person is saying, Pile 5, if you ask them, they will tell you the truth. If this person is omitting things and you do not know what they may be doing in the background, if you resonated with those scenarios I was talking about with some of those songs, they may feel by omitting things from you, it's not lying. So in their mind, they may feel like they're still being truthful with you, even though that's something they're deceiving themselves about. If this person used to lie to you in the past, they have let that go. They have gotten some wisdom and insight in regards to that, given that's purple, and they don't want to do that anymore. All right. And look, I was drawn to this when I had to shuffle. Move in with me. So... <laughs> Okay, this person is either, if this is one person, they are all over the place. If not, I have several different energies in yours, pile five. Okay, so if it's seven um, energies on pile, one person is afraid of your intuition and that you know things that sometimes they may not want you to know. Okay, I'm getting all of them will be honest and truthful with you, even if it hurts your feelings. So just make sure you don't ask questions that you do not want to know. I don't really necessarily feel in this pile, pile five, that there's like a solid commitment because the nine of pentacles also can be a single card. I feel like this is might be a group where you could be dating, could be off and on with a person, may have a couple options, not necessarily sure that this is this was like a committed union. And with the move in with me, and that's why I say that, and given that this is orange, this is some, something that they really feel, their emotions are tied into this. If you are casually dating someone, they may want to take it to the next level and are wondering if you could see moving in with them. I also just got that some people may want to try to move you in if they are trying to get into your pocket. So be very leery of that as well. So I did just get that for some people who just might be out for material gain, just trying to get that bag, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and use the tarot and I'm just gonna get a card that best represents the energy of these three statements. And I wanna see if I'm actually on point. Oh, that one to stay out. 
with spirit that put that with the first card okay with the energies of these statements okay and so far in every pile they have been on point so let's see for you pile five okay clear the energy of this deck all right spirit the question i was going to ask is what card most represents or best represents the energy that pile force person is in when they made the statement your intuition is on point you scary sometimes look at that judgment look at that there with the hierophant y'all can't make it up do you see that i can't make it up okay your intuition be on point you scary sometimes and i told y'all there were certain energies up in this box right this is the player of the hustler okay that this is their statement okay and doesn't you don't have to deal with a player or a hustler and hustlers can be legit or or not legit you know you know how to hustle you know how to hustle i'm a hustler but i'm legit okay uh but anywho <laughs> this person does not like how on point you be it's like you can tap into their mind and you just know how they feel how they're thinking how they about to move you might know certain things about them before they even do it and it just scares them sometimes but it excites them as well with the judgment card okay they could feel like there is a spiritual connection with you too and there's a need for them to get on some type of alignment with you they could be battling with getting on the alignment being more concerned with their independence and material concern but what i'm getting most with the judgment card is they feel that they would catch bad karma with you pile five that they know that they cannot get over on you so that they have to make very decisive decisions when it comes to you pile five also with the judgment they could feel like they may be at a crossroads of which path to take should i take the path of the light or the path of the dark given that we have i think that is like a doorway in between those two pyramids all right with the hierophant they feel that you are a person of great wisdom they learn a lot from you we have another pyramid here okay so you could have some roots in egypt they could you guys could be fascinated with what takes place or what has taken place in Egypt with that eye okay again your intuition is spot on but I believe you have activated this person's third eye they have gained some in insight on you as well this person is used to tradition and this person does like things that are traditional regardless of how they display themselves they do like things that are traditional going back to love is more than money so they want you to know that love means more than just being provided for or providing for someone and this person likes routine this person could be very spiritual you could be very spiritual and this person feels that you are some type of leader or teacher with your intuition be spot on or your intuition be on point you're scary sometimes you could be a spiritual teacher you could have a platform as well they also feel that you were brought into their life for a purpose with that judgment card okay with the i will always tell you the truth spirit can i get a card that best represents the energy um of pile four when they made i'm sorry best represents the energy of pile five when they made that statement we have the three of swords look at that there and the seven of pentacles okay so if this person omitted anything was not truthful to you about anything and that caused heartbreak it hurt their heart as well and now they always want to be truthful with you some of them are being truthful that they did not invest in you that they did not put the time and energy that they were supposed to to water this love that they were only concerned about material things and being with people who could benefit them and if that's the case they apologize about that they want you also to be truthful with them if you are only in it for what they can invest in you for because if that's the case you are going to break their heart and they want to stop that now they they don't want to continue this if you are only out for their pockets is what i heard pile five now with move in with me spirit and look I, this is the second group i don't remember the other one where i had did it upside down this is tearing them inside out they really want to expose 
how they're feeling and they really want you to as well. I feel like a conversation needs to be had here and it's going to be a very straightforward, blunt and logical conversation as well because I don't see no cups on here yet. Okay, spirit with the move in with me. The move in could be also for a business reason. Okay, to benefit you both. Keep that in mind as well. May not be for love. Spirit, can you give me a card that best represents the energy of Pile 5's person when they made the statement, move in with me. We have the four pentacles in death. Look at that there. Look at that there. Okay, so no cups. Even though we have love. So I'm getting, this person is either battling and fighting the love that they have for you and really only wants to be concerned with money or you are. Okay, regardless of what type of situation or uh, relationship this is with the move in with me with the four of pentacles and the death card, they want you to move in with them. If you resonate with this energy is because they're holding on tightly to you. They do not want to lose you. They also feel that it will help you guys both financially. Finances are, is definitely a concern and a main uh, focus in pile five with the death card. They don't like change. So again, they could be holding on to you and wanting you to move in, but they don't want an ending. So if it's on shaky ground, if you may be thinking of walking away from this person and this person knows, especially if they did something to hurt you, going back to some of the songs on the mixtape, they may try to get you to move in with them to try to keep a hold on you. I was told to look at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles. All right, so this could have been something that's been going on for a very long time. Somebody from your past that you may not have spoken to in years that could be coming back to circle around. But with the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody who's trying to lay groundwork with you. And we have Pentacles again. So definitely money and earthly concerns. We have no Kings or Queens. So with the Knight, you guys both could be acting in either immature energy or I just feel like you guys are both concerned about laying a foundation right now. And that doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Just don't sacrifice love just for money, just for status, accolades, material success, because you can have them both. With the nine of pentacles, that card represents having abundance in every area of your life. You know, health, in love, with family, with career, with your goals, just with self-love, personal growth. You can put that anywhere. Always remember that. So let's go ahead and just get the messages from your person. The first one in my hand was, I can't explain the way I feel when I hear your voice or see your face. I'm gonna put that with the nine of pentacles because I told you, you give them ultimate satisfaction. So if you did not know, pile five, whenever they see your face and whenever they hear your voice, they get a feeling they can't explain, but they like it. So whatever ones I'm drawn to, I'm just going to pull them. We're going to have a conversation, all right? We just had a misunderstanding. I am going to put that in with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles with, I will always tell you the truth. Again, if they weren't truthful before, they want to be. They feel that you guys just had a misunderstanding, especially if it was a lack of investment in one or the other that led to some type of heartbreak or some type of disappointment. Some expectations could have not been realized. They they are saying it's just a misunderstanding, especially in the heart space. Maybe some feelings were misconstrued. My hands need to be wrapped around your body. I'm getting that goes to the nine of pentacles, but also I'm going to put that with move in with me with the four of pentacles and death. They want to always be able to grab and hold you whenever they want to. That's why they want you to move in. Stop giving me a hard time. I'm going to put that with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Yes, they feel that you may be a little difficult right now, especially if they've done something to betray your trust and they don't want you to give them a hard time. I'm getting that this person really doesn't want to have to put in that much work if they don't have to, but they will with the Eight of Pentacles if you require it. I am already emotionally invested, absolutely, with the Seven of Pentacles. Now, even though we don't have cups, they are telling you, and we have the Love Stone. So this may be a person who just may not be that emotional, okay? But they're saying they are emotionally invested. That's what the Seven of Pentacles is representing. If something was to happen where they could not be with you anymore, it would cause them great heartache. We have... Let me heal your heart. Now look at that there over the uh, heartbreak. And I was just talking about that. So if this has nothing to do 
with the person on your mind or who you are thinking of and you are just used pile five to dealing with people who either are only concerned about money or you just got to the point where you only gonna be with somebody who can help you financially because I heard love sucks in my head is what I heard or you just haven't had good relationships they said they want to come in and heal that heart they're willing to put in the work and invest in you and let you know you can trust them and they will heal your heart going back to this statement you may have dealt with just people in the past pile five that lied to you all the time and they're saying that's not them they will not lie to you this long distance is killing me okay and i i'm gonna put that back on investment as well if you guys are at a distance they do not like the separation what did they say they said that my hands need to be wrapped around your body losing you was a hell of a price to pay look at that there was we not talking about money do we not have pentacles okay i'm gonna put that here with the hierophant no with losing you was a hell of a price to pay i'm gonna put that with death and the four of pentacles absolutely absolutely that's why they're holding on tight to you they do not want to have an ending could feel like they're facing a little judgment as well because they said it was a hell of a price to pay and that has rocked their ego and shattered their confidence a little bit because that deals with the solar plex chakra because it's yellow i apologize for being in and out of your life going back to the heartache and the seven of pentacles so if they were in and out they are sorry for that if you if they made you feel that they were only there for one thing and it was of a physical nature whether it was money whether it was sex whether it was just affection just anything other than emotional they apologize about that because i'm getting that this person did not really show you emotionally how they truly felt about you i'm going to call you soon I'm going to put that under the judgment and the higher thing because I feel like this person is being called to reach out to you if you guys haven't spoke and you may know that this person is going to reach out to you given that your intuition is on point. Close your eyes and manifest yourself in my bed. This person wants to be with you all the time. I'm going back to the move in with me with that death and the four of pentacles. They said close your eyes and manifest yourself in my bed you are my destiny absolutely i'm getting that this person has gotten intuition didn't i say somebody insight on you and they know you are their destiny going to the higher fit and judgment two major arcanas there you are the best part of me i'm going to put that with the nine of pentacles absolutely the best part of them that's why they are totally satisfied with you i can be deceptive some times i'm gonna put that between these two because again they said i will always tell you the truth so they could have been in the energy of where they were deceptive they could have deceived everybody before you pile five and you are the person they want to be truthful with or they may have had deceptive ways in the past they are now ending that because they know that when they are like that they cannot hold on to you with this four of pentacles and they don't want to let you go time for peace okay and i'm gonna put that under the hierophant and judgment so they want you guys to change course if you guys are in an energy of where things aren't peaceful where things could be up in the air where you're at each other's throat you're not speaking there's a disconnect anywhere especially in communication they want to change that they want to bring peace back into the situation be in a relationship with me two questions both orange both with emotions move in with me be in a relationship with me so if you are single in that nine of pentacles energy and the person that's on your mind you've been wondering you know do they have emotions for you do they really care about you especially if they only are concerned with earthly realm or the earthly realm and their money and their career and their ambitions absolutely pile five they are thinking long term about you that's why they're focused on these financial aspects because they want to provide you with a home they want to be in a relationship with you they want to take care of you okay we are getting off course going back to the hierophant and the judgment because the hierophant could be about getting advice that is wrong it could be about always looking outside of yourself for 
satisfaction and validation going back to this statement in the nine of pentacles and going back to time for peace so if there's any type of disconnect they don't like it it brings them pain and they want you guys to come back together my soul needs major healing right now i'm putting that over the death card absolutely this person could be going through an ascension waking up to their own spirituality with that hierophant and judgment and they're saying their soul needs healing also with that three of swords and I'm getting your soul may need some healing as well you make me so sensitive yes you do and I think they're awakening to that you make them sensitive because again we don't have no cuffs they don't like to be sensitive this telepathic connection is crazy huh so if you know that you have a telepathic communication remember I said you might know that this person is about to send you a message that you can kind of know what's going on with this person this person is confirming they have a spiritual connection with you this person is confirming you guys do have telepathic communication and that they do speak to you that way so if you guys aren't communicating in the physical realm in the 3d they do that a lot to you right now in the 5d if you guys are separated especially for the ones that they were talking about the long distance is killing them and wanting you in their bed so much and that also could be for the ones long distance this person could be trying to figure out how to move you in with them or them to you so that you guys can solidify this relationship they need to be close to you is what i heard i've been careless and foolish now was it that's all i'm talking about you look foolish so they are admitting if they have done anything to hurt you, if they have chosen someone over you or, or, or chosen something outside of you, they said they know they were careless and they were foolish. They're ready to be truthful about that and they don't want to bring that energy into the situation anymore. It says, it has been a struggle not to confess how much I need you. Going to that nine of pentacles, wanting to hold on to their freedom and independence. So if this is a person that's non-committal, Pile five, they said it has been a struggle to not open up and confess. And how synchronistic is that given I don't have no cups? They really hold tight to their emotions. It's up to you. I'll do whatever you say. Going back to that four of pentacles in the death card. So whatever has caused you guys to not be in sync in unison. And it's, if it's their fault, they're saying they'll do whatever you say. I miss you, period. Okay. They miss you, period. So they want you back in their life. You taught me something new, how to love. Look at that there. Did I not say you was a teacher or something with that hierophant? Absolutely. You taught them how to love. And I'm getting that this has shaken their foundation because that's red. They are learning a new way of being. They're going through a spiritual awakening, pile five. Your love calms all my fears. What I just say? Absolutely. Crown chakra is activating. Your love calms all their fears. How synchronistic with that love, okay? You always bring me positive vibes. So, pile four, I'm getting that whatever happened in this, if they did something to hurt you, it had nothing to do with you. You are ultimate wish fulfillment to them. It had nothing to do with you. It had to do with their own ideas of what love means to them, what status means, what money means. Unless you resonate in that energy of you are with this person for money, okay? I'm greedy when it comes to you. Absolutely. Do you see how we keep being on that theme of money? Going back to moving? Yes, they are definitely greedy. Going to the Nine of Pentacles wants to be selfish with you once all of your time is what i heard i have compulsive behaviors so this person could get obsessive over you this person could get excited or get involved in something it doesn't have to be a person per se it could be work or project and they could just put their all into it and then at that point this like tunnel vision that's their only focus so they're letting you know that also with the compulsive behavior they're just aware that they can kind of be addictive or obsessive with certain things whether positive or negative and they're trying to be cognizant of that they know that that might be a hindrance or could be a hindrance in this union i pray for that one to come along never thought it be you again going back to the hierophant in judgment definitely feel this is a divine counterpart situation and this person has prayed for you going back to that nine of pentacles you satisfy them on every level you shocked 
them that it was you that they actually prayed for. You could have known this person for a long time. Again, going back to that Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. And all of a sudden, they woke up to, whoa, I really got feelings for Pile 5 or vice versa. I want us to be together. Now, this person has said, I don't know how many times they want to be with you. They want to live with you. They want y'all to be in a relationship. This person wants to make it work with you. I've got the time now. Now, didn't I say somebody was distracted? Okay, going back to that nine of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. They said they got the time now. So time was, things were taking them away from you. They couldn't spend quality time with you. They weren't giving you enough attention and affection. They're saying things have slowed down and they got the time now. My inner drive increases when I am around you. Absolutely. Going back to that judgment and that higher fine. You really motivate this person. You really make this person strive to be the best is what I heard. I have no sort of willpower when it comes to you. Absolutely. That's why they hold it on tight. That's absolutely going back to that death. You are like their kryptonite. They don't have any willpower with you pile five and I heard they don't want to have any willpower with you I'm a little self-absorbed currently going back to the nine of pentacles okay and the selfish energy so if you are dealing with a person who's a little bit self-absorbed they're admitting yes I'm a little self-absorbed going back to now I got the time and if they were in that energy all of my readings are timeless they're going to try to change that to make time for you being with you keeps me grounded. And I think I said that with the car, um, with one of these message cards being read. Yes, being with you keeps them grounded, keeps them, no, not keeps them, helps them see what's really worth their time and what they should really value in life is what I heard. I know I can be successful with you. With all of these pentacles, absolutely they know this. I can only give you what I'm capable of giving at this junction in my life. Now, I thought I told y'all one of them energies that I picked up was the stuffy button of the one I thought need to loosen a tie. That's this one. I can only give you what I am capable of giving at this juncture. Y'all heard that? This juncture <laughs> of my life. So I'm telling you, it's all kind of energies in this pile five. You take the energy where it resonates in regards to the messages. But some of them are really just concerned about work, their ambition, how they look out in the world. And this just may not fit in the mold of what they had in their mind. Although there is love, okay? Your vibe is so warm. Absolutely, Nine of Pentacles. You give them a great feeling. My lifestyle and you don't mix. Now, did I not just say that? My lifestyle and you don't mix. Now, that's the player and the hustler. My lifestyle which you don't mix. So they could be involved in certain things or again, it said, now I have the time. This could be a person who just really has like tunnel vision. Is just really focused on the things that they either need to handle or bring them joy and not really concerned about other people's feelings because we had no cup. So if that is the case, they're letting you know they are very aware that they're in a self-absorbed energy right now. Sometimes I ain't shit. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't make it up. That's the hustler. That's the player. And that's just basically anybody. That could represent any of the energies in here for real. But mainly it was the hustler and the pay player who... <laughs> Who gave me that message? And they like, yeah, I know I ain't shit sometimes. Yeah, I can be self-absorbed. You know, I can be deceptive from time to time. You know, I can be all about myself. But I still want to be with you, though. I still want you around me, though, because we got all of this over here. Okay? I wish I could be free like you. See? So you have a free spirit going back to that nine of pentacles, that independence, being able to just move however you want to move. This person could have a lot of responsibilities, again, with all of those pentacles and feel like they just can't move the way you can move. That could be preventing or hindering whatever's happening in this union. I'm tired of shallow relationships. How synchronistic with love means more than money. So there it is. For the ones who aren't, you know, with this person for money, they're used to people finessing them for money. They're used to people just in their pockets. 
and they're tired of that. So the next time they commit, the next time that they really invest in someone going to that seven of pentacles, they're going to make sure that it is not shallow. And that just brought me back to sometimes I ain't shit. That can make them seem like they, they are in that energy, but I'm getting, that's not the case. I'm getting, this is a very generous person. I'm getting, this is a person who's loving to people too, when he, they feel they deserve it. Okay. I get self-conscious around you. You bring a lot of insecurities up with this person. They didn't that song say something about, I thought I wasn't fine enough, good enough. If the way you are behaving or some of your actions could be making this person feel like they are not good enough and you are interacting with this person and you do want to have something with this person, pile five, you may want to change that. Otherwise, they could just get self-conscious around you just because they see you as the nine of pentacles. They see you as somebody who has it all and they may be trying to figure out what can they bring to the table and also brought me back to that statement maybe they feel like all they can bring is money to the table because they don't know much about love i got some decisions to make going back to that judgment did i say somebody might have been at a crossroads yes they are trying to decide how they want to move this thing forward with you if they want to move it it's not even if they want to know how they want to move this thing forward with you because i just picked up i am devoted to you so again and because that flipped over this is something they hide from you all right they are devoted to you regardless of what you think why did you unfriend me so if you unfriended this person block them on social media is not talking to them for for whatever reason especially if you felt that they only were just concerned about money and didn't see your true value, they are heartbroken. Going to that three of swords, heartbroken you unfriended them, wish that would have never happened is what I heard. They regret that, they hate that they are not a friend of yours anymore is what I heard, whether social media or in real life. And look, look at that there, y'all saw me turn it over. I'm so alone. So this person could not be with somebody. They also could be in that nine of pentacles energy and just really, again, trying to build up their, their world. They could have gotten out of a relationship with somebody, pile five, and are just trying to heal. Because it said something about, I think it said something about they were healing. Also, you guys both could have just been single for a very long time, just concern, concerned about your goals, you know, building up your finances. And now Spirit is saying, hey, true love is here. And you guys both could be feeling a calling to each other with that hierophant and that judgment, because I do think this is a spiritual connection. And they don't want to be in an alone energy anymore. And you may not want to be as well. So let's go ahead and get, because y'all is the longest pile five let's go ahead and get one last final message from your person and i'm gonna go ahead and get you out of here okay spirit can you tell me what statement would most represent how pile five's person would like to close off this reading about how they feel about pile five all right i'm gonna close my eyes we have your love came in like lightning. Absolutely. So you caught them off guard, pile five. And I feel they caught you off guard as well. So pile five, that is your reading. If you enjoyed it, it resonated. Go ahead and leave me a comment. I love feedback. If you enjoyed kicking it with your girl, you got a little oogly vibe or just the clarity you need it. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and support the channel. I would love for you to subscribe and join the love and all that good is your gang. I am a medium, y'all. I channel all the time. Every reading will be a channeled message from your person so you can know how they feel. If you are drawn to another pile, even though this is pile five, go ahead and go over there and I will see you there. For you, if you did not know, I am a spiritual teacher. That's why God named me Empress Goddess of Healing. I have another channel. It's called Empress Goddess of Healing LLC. I will leave the link below of my latest video. If you want to know anything spiritual, if you have just awoken to this, you want to know who spirit is, which is God, if you didn't know. If you are in a divine counterpart situation, twin flame, you want to know about chakras, herbs, uh, dreams, past life recall, talking to your higher self, what your higher self wants to tell you, the angels, God, ascended masters, whoever. I am a speaker of universal languages, y'all. And I feel that everybody should know how to move in every area of their life, not just love. So just like I channel your person over here, I channel angels, God, ancestors, 
all of that over there. So if you want to know how to move in other areas of your life besides love, go ahead and hit the link below and I will also leave your mixtape, okay? So enjoy the rest of your day, Pile 5. I truly enjoyed you. Peace, love, and light.